Hey, yeah, man, we yeah. over here at the spot on the spot, man. You feel me at the dark, man, talking that good shit, man, about, man, <laughs> Slim Fast. <laughs> <laughs> coffee. Hey, coffee, huh? Super man. appetite, suppress it, you know. <laughs> man. Like, what you say? Hey, what you say man. when you see somebody coming with that coffee, like, you oh, know. it's on. <laughs> Like, I told you, I like playing yeah. with them weights, man. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, money. I, it's my pre-workout, so I, I don't do anything but black coffee. So, Man, go like, comment, subscribe, man. You know what I'm saying, man. <laughs> we got Cole 187 in this motherfucker, man. We got cocaine, man. We got Queenin' with Kendra, the queen, of course. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Hey, Rob Nova, man. You know what I'm saying, man? The rest of the crew from the spot, man. The good old St. Nixon, man. That part. I on the real, man. And top two it all the time to all my gentlemen, man, for real. Mm -hmm. It been nothing but love, man. I promise you. Yeah, we in here, we in here, we in here tonight chilling. Man, know? talking, <laughs> man, talking that super strength. Yeah, yeah. You feel me, man? Yeah. Man, man, hey, it's crazy, man. Somebody had me rolling and shit. What Somebody was like, uh, we did a man. I had a smack water on a on a podcast. You know, oh, brother, yeah, to be on the yeah, thing, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. My ass said, nigga, what's your name? What's your name? Break down your name. I'm like, nigga, why you get this nigga? I already know what the fuck. Water, nigga. That's how they can break down that. They just brought it to my tent. They said, right. hey, you had like, you niggas talked about 10 minutes of fucking smoking water, nigga. Ooh. What? Wow. Uh, it must have been on Anzac Street. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> what you know about that? Man. Water. Ooh. Man. But yeah, come on. Man. You talking crazy now. Only got, man, only got stuck one time. Ooh. Well, let the, the water is different from you, back. You fuck with it? You fuck with it? When I was a youngster. Oh, hey, yeah, oh, that you know was the real man? water. Yeah, yeah. yeah, so did, yeah. That was the butt naked, right? You know what I'm saying, yeah. man? I know the man from the cigarette, <laughs> man. With the thing. You know when the, we used to go get the Garcia Vegas. Oh, oh yeah. Dip, put the yeah, endo. Yeah, yeah. Put that thing, go get go, us a huh? cigarette. Oh, it be gone. I huh? used to get it and dip it a little bit, and that shit go. Tss. Hey, I'm about to have y'all rolling, man. I'll tell y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Those days are over with. Man, of course, man. But you know what I'm saying? Shit crazy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Hey, the bounce back. Exactly. You the, bounce back the bounce back is for back. real, huh? <laughs> yep. Hey, one mm -hmm. time, what made me stop, I'll never forget. Mm -hmm. Man, it was a man. Man, shots out, man. Long time. I think I was in San Bernardino. Oh, shit. Mm. San it was a man. Zero. It was a motherfucking man. dude. That nigga was from Pomona Mafia. Oh, okay. Yeah, that yeah. nigga brought a Philly. He had a Philly. Mm-hmm. And... And we went to smoke that motherfucker. I had never, got, I don't know what the fuck that was. I said, God damn, kids was walking by laughing at me. Damn. And shit, I'm just, oh, you yeah. know, I'm, I'm in San Francisco, I'm stuck in the woods. Damn. What? My like, homie, like yesterday. Oh, man. Hey, you you know, and you know, how long ago was yeah. this? Because that was back in what? Oh, this was in the 90s? 90s. Oh, yeah. It was, oh, man. It was San Bernardino. It was crazy in the 90s. Oh, yeah, man. I was, you man. get everything. You get it. You imagine, get it all. Imagine being a nigga, man, from Inglewood, man. You move out there. Ooh. Uh, in the town in the 90s, man, mm -hmm. that nigga's man. You, you don't have me? no problems when you was out there? Shit. Them San Bernardino motherfuckers don't be playing. Oh, man. San Bernardino ain't the place. Hey, you know what I took? You know what that I took? ain't the place to play. You know what I took a loss at? Mm -hmm. My baby mama, man. She chose up with the San Bernardino. Ooh. Man. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> <laughs> It happened. Oh, best thing ever happened to me. <laughs> that part, huh? For real. It was like. <laughs> Set uh, you free, huh? Hey, did you want to know how I found out? I mean, we got into it. We mm -hmm. arguing. You feel me? Mm -hmm. We arguing and shit. All of a sudden, about two niggas come around the building. Four niggas come around the building. Eight niggas come around the building. And niggas say, uh, why is you talking to her like that? I said, man. I I thought a gangster said something, my nigga, huh? Yeah. You know what I mean? And then shots out, man, I had some Africans, bro. Mm -hmm. I used to fuck around with for shit yeah, back yeah, then, yeah, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They like, Nick, come in the gate. It's gonna be a problem, huh? I'm like, huh? They're like, man, come in there, cause I'm, nigga, I'm, I come in the gate. They try to stroll in the gate, he close the gate. He like, y'all come in this gate, man, we gonna knock you down. He mm. like, hey, Nick, your baby mama been fucking these dudes. Whoa. Like you, you don't you, you don't know what's going on. Like you don't know because you over here trying to take care of your daughter, yeah. and you wiggling, you doing business with us. But you know, that's Damn. what's going on. Not even this dude, but these dudes. Oh, oh, yeah. you know what I'm Damn. saying? And she was community. Damn, yeah, these dudes. She, she was, was community street, and shit well, like that, man. You feel me? Oh man, you feel me? Little light skin with some green eyes. Did and you ever go to the county out there? What in I? Yeah. Nah, I never. Sure. Always LA. Always Ooh, LA. Like, Let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. I went to the old county. Oh, yeah, yeah. And at the time, we had stayed in Colton. That's when we had the little production house in Colton. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I go in there, 
So I get in there. You know, they don't like Pomona niggas back then. Mm-hmm. In the 80s, they ain't like 80s, early 90s. They don't like Pomona niggas. niggas. Any niggas from Pomona, yeah, LA, you, you get in the business hmm. when you go in there. So I go in there, I run to a couple niggas I know. Hey, what's up? Where you from? Like, so I tell the nigga to the side for Pomona. He said, where you stay at right now? So I stand cold. He said, say that, say that, homie, because uh, <laughs> it's going to be a problem in this tank right now if, if you say you from Pomona. So yeah, oh yeah, 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 yeah. We just kept the business with them. Yeah, the man. Yeah, we I lost eat. a couple of homies out out there in the IE okay. back yeah, then. Yeah, the IE. Dudes was a lot. We cool now. A lot yeah, of us yeah, cool yeah, now. Yeah, but yeah. Yes. yeah. But because you know everybody live out that way, you know, and kind of, you know, it's a mix up now. But when we was coming up, I don't even know how you was out there from Inglewood. But I know uh, a lot of cats from the city used to go out there I, and I, get that. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, get yeah, that. Uh oh. This motherfucker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this mother, this motherfucker was out there with me, right? Ooh, for some odd reason, I man, I don't know if that nigga is the luckiest nigga in the world. Uh-huh. Oh, the, he can go in, he can blend in, chameleon. Mm-hmm. He damn near man, nigga, he damn near man. They they loved him, right? Right. I don't know what it what, what me. Mm-hmm. Hate my guts. Are you knocking down their bras? Nah. Oh, you weren't doing nothing. He, he was. was. That's what I'm saying. He that's crazy. You they be beef with niggas who knocked their bras. They and they went because yeah. it was like that, that's a light skinned thing, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I should knock down. Knock. You know. Oh, I should knock it down. See, hey, this the IE. See the IE. The Ooh. cold part is, man. You know, you can jump on that. You can jump on that. Um, that Metro Link. Yeah. Oh yeah. Knock them. Be right there. We, it rather it was going to Lancaster, uh, so, rather yeah, it was right going to San Bernardino Line. Right, Bernardino 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 line. Bernardino line. You go to Carousel Mall, all that. Man, yeah, the Carousel Mall always be cracking. Man, man, you yeah, know, man, get, get blue on the train. The, mm-hmm. all the, man, hey, where you going to? Oh, I'm about to go to, man. Oh, yeah. Okay. Rialto? Oh, yeah, for sure. We're going to come fuck with you. I know y'all been burnt through Rialto. What, the Makings? Yeah. Yeah, the Makings. Oh, yeah. It was probably about Sherman. Makings. Real quick, can you guys put your phone? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm on. I'm on airplane mode. Yeah, I'm man, for sure, for sure. Yeah, I'm the asshole. Excuse me. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I'm supposed to know better and shit. I'm the asshole. But yeah, yeah. Y'all got to make me remember that shit. Like, whoa, yeah, yeah the car man. Yeah, that mall, and that's shut down now. Yeah, for sure. Shut down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Shut down. That, that motherfucker was a hole in wall and shit like yeah, that. Yeah, back then. Shit. Yeah. But it be oh, man, yeah. San Bernardino. A lot of money out there. Yeah, it's a, lot. It's a lot of money out there. Back then, it's crazy money out there. You know, everybody left when the motherfucker was talking about. Yeah, we trying to get away from L.A. and shit. Mm-hmm. Yeah, didn't know they was taking they L.A. There, with them. They went there. Like they went to Yeah, Moval. 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 Riverside. Dog. Yeah, everybody went to Riverside. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and remember, Moval back then was Sunny Mead. It was nothing. Remember, it wasn't nothing. It, it was, was just the Air Roma Force Land. Base. Yeah, Norton, Norton Air Force Norton, Base. Yeah, yeah. March. Yeah. Used to March and Norton. Yeah, you had both them. Yeah, you had. It was nothing out there. It was nothing out there. It was wasteland. For real, yeah, shit was wasteland. But it's money. It was a lot of money. Like in the late 80s, we used to go out there and hustle. But that's when it was sunny me. Then it became Marino Valley. Then they started putting the, man. You know, putting the press down on everybody. Rise of oh, yeah. power, man. My Uncle oh, yeah. Joe, he oh, took yeah. his ass out oh, there yeah. in the 80s. Yeah, like fuck with them niggas in, in Riverside. When everybody went to Riverside, everybody down there, Riverside. You know, by, by um, Georgia Street, University. all them universities. Oh, so you know where yeah. we at. Hey. You know what I mean? <laughs> You, we, we all had nothing but LA sh- niggas sh- was hey, out there like LA you know, motor niggas was out there getting it like, slime ball all around these goddamn country man yeah, and everything that like that man to make the mark all around man. this country it shit crazy you know? huh mm-hmm. oh yeah when, especially yeah. when you go somewhere and you, and you see the mark oh yeah when you see the mark it's like whoa mm-hmm. man tell me one spot man you know what I'm saying both of y'all what's, what's one city man you got banged on like nigga what the fuck mm. not even just and not even probably, the negative but not even just probably the Philly but just Probably Philly. Philly? Yeah, me, me, and, me and DJ Chaos got into it with some cats in Philly because they had our poster up. And we came to this club, and he was like, and it was like, so Chaos go to the door first. He's like, like, um, yeah, we trying to get a club. All oh, them, them L.A. niggas, you fuck them niggas. So Chaos come back to the car and say, hey, man, they tripping. Like, they, they, they really tripping. Like, it's like, it was like, okay, what's up? So we go up there. And then we said our, our representatives up there, they like, yeah, they tripping. So we end up going to the club anyway because yeah. we had to do a little. You know, a little performance, a little pr- promo f- performance and shit. But that, that, they kind of banged. The second place, these were East Coast places. Yeah. The second place was Boston. Yeah, Boston. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can see. Boston. Yeah, Boston's a I can see. Boston, we was, <clears throat> listen. And if it wasn't for Bazzino, that's when they was the made men. When Bazzino yeah, was yeah. the made men, we was out there and, um, um, he seen us in there. He knew we was from LA and he was like, hey, man, these dudes, they trying to, they trying to step the y'all. And they was really tripping. 
You know, but I, I, anywhere else, like the Midwest, they love Cali. Mm -hmm. South, I ain't never really, uh, even where there's, like where there's a lot of gangs at, we ain't never got tripped on. I ain't yeah. gonna trip. It's been more East Coast for me. On the East Coast. Have I been in any altercation? It's been, in, it, it's either good, it, on the East Coast, it's either straight up love or they tripping. Yeah. Real wherever tough. you land. You know what I mean? Like, but the Midwest, and no, I ain't never had that. Probably been banged on more in my own city. <laughs> yeah, yeah. More of my own city. Now we got banged on in Texas. I was out there with my homie, oh, uh, well, New yeah. Jersey they, threat. They, they great do do that out there. Yeah, they do in, that. New, in New Jersey, and um, we did a song with Scarface and Oh Houston. And Scarface was like my nigga. He said, "Wait till I get to the club." But the homies was like, you know, antsy. They from New Jersey. Just I linked them in with you know mm -hmm. brother my the yeah. my, our, our family and. Uh, huh. He's like, nigga, you out in Texas. Let me come there. Nigga, so we decided to go anyway. We going and then and then. Off the bat, niggas could tell, nigga, this is a yeah. foreigner, nigga. Yeah, exactly. you, 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 where you from? Well tough. So they said my name on the mic, but niggas didn't care about that. So when we get out, the club, 10 niggas done rush. We have to. Oh, blah, blah, blah. shit. They got the, one of the homies got beat up real bad. We got him, you know, got him loose and shit. Them niggas was coming after with guns and all kind of shit, right? But we skirt off, skirt! And then we call um, Face the next day, and he said, I try to tell y'all niggas, don't go nowhere in Texas. Without me. In Houston. Without, without me. me. You know what I mean? And we yeah. kind of knew that, you know what I mean? But the homies was like, you know, I'm from New Jersey, let's go out there, whoop, 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 whoop. And they some real niggas. But that was about the only time, you know. Yeah, real And of tough. course, when you at the house, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's that's a natural thing. But, you know, yeah, outside, yeah, yeah. outside, it was um, it was definitely a hell of an experience. Man. You know what I'm yeah, it's funny, that was like, the only time. Yeah, because L.A., the thing that's true, the people don't understand about, in L.A. or Southern California in general, motherfuckers don't care about your rapping, None of no, that. You nigga, better know somebody. You, you out of pocket, homie. You better know somebody. Better Sorry to tell in, people that. You better, in, what you, well, you better know somebody. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no checking in if you don't know nobody from they set. You, yeah, ain't, true. you better, you know what I mean? Ain't no checking in. Ain't no, ain't no Osiris in L.A. Yeah, if you, Why is you that? in the wrong dog, if you in the wrong hood, ain't no Osiris in L.A. Ain't no dude that run all the nigga, game. Who? Why is California nigga, so territorial? Huh? <laughs> Why is California so yeah, territorial? Yeah, you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Yeah. That's the wrong shit. You in Inglewood saying another nigga name. You oh, saying the wrong man. shit. Why is California yeah. so territorial? Tribalism. Yeah. Tribalism. Yep. Tribalism, gentrification. Yep. Mm -hmm. the, um, the, um, stifling the Black Panthers. Yeah, exactly. That's right. All those different things. It's a snowball. Yeah, exactly. Then the drugs. Then the guns, then mm -hmm. low income housing, yep. high interest rates, mm -hmm. poor education. Then we're spread that's, it out. We're not on top saying. of each other. So you got to realize people in their territories, they kind of police their own shit, like yeah. far as the street level. Like if you get certain neighborhoods, they run their own shit. They don't, they're not, it's not like a side of a town where one person run or one gang run. Yeah. It's like if you in this pocket, then they run it. If you in this, they run it. You know what I mean? So it's just this how it's regulated. It's no kingpin. It's never been no. no never been. It's yeah, it's like I said, it's no, no Osiris. No, no, no king. I'm the king of the hood. Yeah, it ain't. It's, it, I'm all, all the hood. I'm over all of the I'm whole the gang king. coalition. Nah, nigga, we all. Yeah. <laughs> you know what? I was making a point one time, mm -hmm. man. I said, you know why these man these motherfucking youngsters is popping each other and popping the way that they are. Mm -hmm. And you gonna film me on this? Ain't no big homie regulating the heat. Oh, no, it ain't. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. right. You're right. You remember when you oh, yeah, 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 got to go to the big homie? Yeah. They tell him exactly why you wanted oh, the heat. You get green lit, remember? They just vigilante now. It ain't no. You, you got, got, green got some money. You got a green lit. got some money. Go buy their own money. Niggas, niggas is, becoming, right, man, niggas is becoming legends at. And you used to be like, is this is this cool to make a move on this person or that person? Remember how it used to be like you had to get a shot call? That's what I'm saying. That was a shot call. You had to. Who, who I don't care if shot. it was on the pen or That's right. The, the shot had to be called. Hey, the hum, hey, why y'all hey, why y'all want to go over there and do what y'all doing? Whoop whoop, yep. Okay. Oh, yeah. oh that's stupid. Yeah, that, exactly. Don't hey, do that. Y'all gonna start go a war. Nigga. Hold on, I'm gonna make a start a war for some petty shit. Let me call whoop whoop. Yeah. Usually over, you know, excuse my language, you know, because she's a lady. You can say it. 
It's usually over a bitch. We, man, we have to dog. She the queen, man. She don't okay. be tripping, man. You know, I'm respectful. Y'all, no, know man. Come on, all the way because that you person wasn't a queen. But. When the drama jumped, she wasn't being a queen. She probably being messy like how you was in San Bernardino. She being messy. Oh, See man. what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's a bitch. See, that's the thing about when Faggot what bitch, I trip, man. That's what exactly I trip what is, off man. of. You know what I'm saying? How people try to define <laughs> stuff like, like, oh, yeah, all women are queens. No, they ain't. That wasn't no queen, was it? Hell nah. So you talking Still real? Ain't. That wasn't no queen. Twenty something. Yeah, she over there knocking every everybody down from the west side of San Bernardino. She a queen? <laughs> Where at? Hey, they going oh my god, boy. Queen of the dust bucket, huh? They told hey the cold part was them niggas told me she was from the hood. Ooh, wow. I was like, damn. God. She damn. sucked so much dick over there, she Man. got put on, huh? <laughs> Man, hey, for real. I can't make this like so no much dick she got put on. I can't man, I can't make this shit up, man. Jay. I, man, I had left and everything, man. You feel me? I know you was this like, swine ball ass nigga still at the house. Hey. I'm gone. I'm gone. <laughs> that nigga still at the house. He cool. They there ready to put down. him on. Yeah, they ready to put him on. I think I'm talking shit to you. Oh, nigga, you ain't from Eaglewood, nigga. You oh, <laughs> <laughs> These niggas fuck with you, nigga. Uh, but hate my guts. Feel bad about it, huh? Oh, man, I used to be rolled. You can't mm -hmm. even never laugh. Hey, you it's know like, how that go. Yeah. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah man. That Shut was up. over a bitch, but yeah. You know, he's right. A lot of times, that's what it be when it get to Warren. So, you know, like I said, the OG would just be like, that's some bullshit. We ain't moving on that. We ain't going to create man, no war over no, no bullshit. Calm that shit. This that the whole part. Sure. Mm -hmm. As a nigga found out, she was fucking one of they big OG, they shot caller for they good. Oh, wow. So these niggas is moving. Because of him. Because of him. Yeah. I went and got at him. You can have it. Look, check this out. Yeah, I got a daughter, daughter, bro. Yeah. I don't care about none of them politics or whatever y'all exactly. did. Right. That broad. Mm -hmm. But hey, man, about all your homies down there, come on, fam. Moving on me for what? Over some pussy? Man, all this, and I'm explaining to all it's going to do is somebody going to get killed. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Over something that's everywhere. Brother, Over something that's trying to everywhere. Prove a point, brother, it's you trying to prove a point. I never man. understood that. I never I couldn't, understood like beefing he, he over some pussy. He kept it solid. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I never made talk bad on no man that wasn't right. on. The he was yeah. a real gangster. They mm -hmm. say, "Hey, brother, man, that's you know, look, check it out. It I is. know where you from, right? But that's your daughter, so Got I would you. treat your daughter like I would treat my kid. There you go. And if you ever want to come see your daughter, man, don't worry about it. I right. said, "Well, man, I never was worried about it. I'm just letting you know because right. I ain't tripping, but I'm respectfully. Got you. Because this broad man, these niggas, what man. the fuck is these niggas doing? You know, it's clout." Getting that strike, you know that. Suckers, boy, they was some suckers too. Yeah. But them Africans, man, on my mama, and man, they, you know, and then like to just to go back to what Kendra's saying, you know, territory, you know, it's a lot of ego. Like in in Cali, it's a lot of cats. Like they feel like they the they the best gang. They the best, you know. They run the shit. They the, you know what I mean. Like, but that's what people understand when they come from out of town. It's not really that in Cali. It's like you get a certain area. Like, they run they run everything over there. They don't care who your big OG is unless they broke bread with him or something. Sure. You know what I mean? Inglewood niggas don't care about that. Pomona niggas don't care. South Central niggas don't care unless you tied up with these certain dudes. Yeah, with you them. know? People like, oh, yeah, you got to check in. I'm like, who you checking in with? You check in with the, you, you bring up the wrong name around certain motherfucker, they'll knock you off. Oh, I checked in with Woodwop. Oh, he our enemy. Plot. They're going to clap you. They're going to they're gonna pull a blammer out on you like, okay, tell your homie this. I done seen it happen. For real. For real. I was locked up. Ooh, oh, yeah, fuck that nigga. Boop. You oh, know? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, come on. Yeah. I, I, and then you could be somewhere where you could say <laughs> that, and then you get a pass. Hey, I'm a, hey, I Because I done got, you can get a pass. I don't know? want to admit. I don't, <laughs> don't want to take this one to my grave, man. I'm going to mm -hmm. keep it 100, man. I don't know, man. hell yeah, I probably know, man, from mm -hmm. Pomona, man, Tabu. Tabu. And then ain't Tabu. Yeah, it's familiar. Old yeah. brother. Yeah, it's familiar. And I seen that nigga whoop on a couple of youngsters, man. <laughs> I don't know. In a joint? No, on the streets. On the streets. So oh, okay. tipped on them? Man, look, hey, tipped on them. Because, mm -hmm. I, I, man, I come through, I slide through, come see my folks, they was out there and shit like that. Yeah. Like, mm -hmm. He's got black eyes and things. Man, what happened to y'all? I mean, Tabu. I said, the same one that Sugar Free be rapping about in the music? Yeah, yeah. 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 Damn, he did you niggas like that? Y'all niggas should have jumped him or something, man. He's like, hey, man, that nigga's an animal. Hands. I swear to God. Handles. Hey, shout out to that brother, man. I just, yeah. It just made me think about it, though, right now. Like, man, I'm, oh, man, that nigga had some young niggas around there terrified, man. And the cold part was these niggas was L a gang of niggas from L.A. Why niggas don't fight no more? 
You know why? Don't fight no more. You want you want to know why? I don't get that. Like young nigga, we was young. We like to fight, huh? We like nigga. I need we like that. to fight when we was young. Then we, we like shooting came like after like oh it's just it, we, we just, it's bad, homie. <laughs> The blammer come out yeah. now. Like it's they don't even like to fight. When we was young, we like to fight. Are you seen with are you seen these niggas? Yeah, I know, yeah. But niggas like 150 pounds. Yeah, I, know some, I know some skinny niggas when we grew up and put tips on Don't want to what, what did you have? What did everybody down there have in front of their house, man, when you was growing up? Some weights. Some weights, you're right. Yeah. Niggas ain't got no weights, yeah. niggas ain't got no fight. They, yeah, they you fought. Is when we was little, we fought all the way up to we was grown ass men. That's come why on. you was cussing to fighting. And then, and then again, your big homies, nigga, yeah. your big homies, kept, all hey, that. Oh, yeah, no. you finna fight for them? Cause now they wanna yeah. see you finna where fight. Your hands yeah, you, you, on you, the wall, my nigga. Yeah, you right. On yeah, the wall, on the wall. y'all handle, y'all handle that. that. Yep. You out the way. Come on, that's right. You gonna fight first? Who wanna lose in front of their homies? Yeah, I know some little dudes that put tips on tips. Oh, <laughs> and there was a but point they grew when up fighting. there was a point when learning how to fight was a part of growing up. Like, right. you know, even your mother and your father would be like, "No, you better know how to fight. Hell you yeah. better know how to protect Shit. your brother. You better know how to protect your sister or yourself." Or, you know, You're like right. what, what age did you guys start? You know, practicing the, fighting at home. Oh so my god, age, like the that. age where where I ran in the house. And Grandpa said, nigga, you better go take your ass out. out there, nigga, before I beat your <laughs> motherfucking <laughs> natural yeah. redhead yeah. ass. Mm -hmm. When yeah. he said that, it didn't matter how big he was. I was like, close my... Come on. That's like the bullying shit. They, they took that shit yeah. out of the schools and shit. I used to tell my kids, you come home and... You come home and say you got bullied. I'm gonna see you back and say you better whoop their ass. Yep. Man, that was, you know what that mean? was the pecking order. Because go, go along with what Kendra said, like... That's when when you was a little bitty kid, like you was like told to like defend yourself. You wasn't told to like, oh, just you go talk to the teacher. My mom, my, my parents was like, I grew all the way up to our grandparents, yeah. and our grandmama was like, what four four, mm -hmm. a little lady. She's like, you better go whoop their ass. Come on, you know what I mean? You can't, you even, can't, you can't even, no, uh, uh, ain't, you can't blow at your kids. You, now. Exactly. So think about that. We grew up fighting, so I mean that make a lot of sense now that they like okay, I'll the, no, they, the no, result no, is man, like this to no, kill a man, motherfucker. They, I'm like God. I'm, I'm, I'm you know, man, you know what? I'm keeping straight. Never up, been honey. in a fight before. I'm keeping so fucking real, man. This is the honest to God truth. They scared. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. They never been in a fight before. Mm -hmm. They they so scared of being humiliated. Yeah, that too. Because of social media. That's what I was about to say. You think social media yeah. got a lot to do with yeah, it? Yeah, it got a lot to it do with it. Amplifies it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. That, yeah, that's that shit put that shit on so? steroids, yeah. bro. The What's internet, the the internet the took thing, away. Man? Go ahead. Go the ahead, internet man. took away the real concept of life. Like these these yeah. these kids are not in touch with like a real life and what it Thank really you. means to be alive and what it means to really take somebody's life. False sense of reality, basically. Yes. We square right false now. What's the first thing somebody gonna yell? World star. You're right. Yeah. So it's like Our grind face. Hey, hey, grind yeah, face, grind man. Face, yeah. Hey, mm -hmm. so what, what's the first thing you're gonna do? At least my instincts is, fuck you, you bitch ass nigga. I'ma slap the shit out of you. Ready exactly. To this then mm -hmm. you, oh, that's a felony. You broke my thing. You true. And yeah. even fucking handcuffs. Mm -hmm. yep. Yeah, that's true. So they yeah. talk these motherfuckers how it's to weird because, snitch it, it, and snitch and snitch, snitch in a beautiful it. fucking way. Yep, you're right. Yeah. Yep. They mean care. It's like it's like telling the in youngsters don't do this though. But it's like man, at the same time, it's like man telling youngsters, nigga, you did a drive by. And you had your phone on you? Damn. Oh, bro, they coming. You right. They coming. Nigga, they right. gonna check them cell towers and shit. Yeah, that's right. You, 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 you. It's in the cloud. More, more it ain't, what are they disappear? I erased it. It's in the cloud, stupid. Like, what are you talking about? It's all real. Yeah. 5G phones, they sound It's in the cloud, yeah. It's, it's, it's really not going nowhere. They can recall it. Everything. Yep. That's what it's called. It right yeah. They send the subpoena they out. They pull it right back okay, up. Okay, yeah, we got a subpoena for T Mobile yeah. and everything. Mm -hmm. We're going in this phone oh, yeah. records. Oh, oh yeah. it shows oh, yeah. right here. Bink, oh, yeah. he was right here at this time. And, and he oh, like binked off this tower, off that tower. So, do y'all think that, that motherfucker, like how Kendra's saying, like, you guys feel like they don't really have a, a, a sense of what life or death is because of that, that sense of, like, not really knowing what reality is? And, and you know, not to get deep like that, but that is kind of like what. You saying like they don't really realize that it's real life and then it's this shit, this social media shit. Yeah. Do you know how to, the difference is? Do they know the difference? You think they know the difference? Well, they haven't lived long enough to know the difference. Like they've been raised up, you know, from such a young age at this point in this generation with these 
devices and with the internet and right. they spend so much kids don't play outside anymore true. they're on the video game practicing true. killing people on the video games you know yeah, that's true. so it's like they you know on the video game you get to shoot them up shoot them up and then you get a, a brand new life you get to turn the, the game back on you know right they haven't experienced enough life to go to go through things and realize okay you can go through this and then you can get over it they don't I don't even think they really have a concept of like I really just took somebody's life and that's it. You know what? That's right, because that's like fake. Like like if you take it a little deeper, it's like rejection. Like what you're saying, like you can build a false sense of like being successful or being accepted because you're on social media being accepted. And but in real life, when that happens, it could be traumatizing to you. Yeah. And then you reacting in real time. Now you like you know deer in the headlights now like you ready to just look up on a female or a man whatever because you you haven't learned rejection mm -hmm. everything is likes and views and acceptance versus real life ain't like that real it's tough. no motherfucker leave me alone get lost you know what i mean you know what i think <laughs> life ain't that you I'm, know i'm mm -hmm. gonna keep it real with you man mm -hmm. i think it's social engineer i believe that too yeah. because from the beginning it's like our grandparents, everything like that. And wasn't no mother, huh? Infamil. Soy. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. So it's like, man, boom, you give them this shit, they ain't giving them that real milk, that milk yeah. that, that, that the doctors call liquid gold. If you've had a yeah, kid, it's, oh, yeah. that's the liquid gold. You want mm -hmm. your kid to get money. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So they getting that shit, they getting this, this soy and everything, all these byproducts and stuff like that, traumatizing when they, when they tell you, now they're telling you about animals, when they die, it's from traumatizing thing, and you might get the meat and it's inherited. We're all just trying. But but a lot of it when we were growing up is ideals. See, you control when you talk about social media. That's those are ideals. So once you buy into the ideal of, of a device and living your life by that device, that's what controls you. But but that's <coughs> what it is. That's why because we wouldn't grow. We wasn't a lot of us really wasn't raised on good diets and good this. And why is our head good? <coughs> why is our head good? We were really raised up on some fuck people more health conscious now. In real time, man. but. But your, <coughs> your, but but the difference in us is that we were raised by human beings. We weren't raised by a device. Yeah, you see what throat. I'm saying? Yeah, no. We I, got all of our mental food from people, really not so. from a device, not from a not from a platform. We actually got all of our shit from people. Like everything that we learned. We learned it from our parents, our grandparents, our uncles, our aunties. You know what I mean? And so now, when you look at it, we know we, we're controlled by the device, and we're being taught by the device, and we're being. Hmm. That's think about it. Whose number do you know? Shit, not no more. Nobody you don't know, know nobody's no number. number. It's dumbed everything down, down y'all. Exactly. The shit is dumbed everybody down. So think about that too, L along with the diet and the stuff they put in the chemicals that they putting in stuff and all that. Along with that. And all of it, the, the the crazy part about it is all of it is conducive to what you're talking about. It's all it all runs into each other. Real talk, real talk, man. You know, is it ever gonna change though? Like, how do we, you know? I think because a human, because a human is a not to not to make it like since we having a real talk, not to make it like it's like crazy and then, since a human is organic, it's gonna change right. because you can't program a human. You can't program them. They're gonna they, because they're gonna deprogram anyway by life itself. You know what I mean? Like it's a plant. It's 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 organic. Well, when you, you say know. but but in, in in stating that when you okay just to you know think a outside person the is box, organic, so they won't. A yeah. person might be organic, but mm -hmm. we also but we they were we already living with artificial fucking artificial tissues, right? Because you know if they man you know they've been experimenting with pig hearts. Right, kidneys, everything like that, just to prolong life of what they say that it is. Would I guess, in a sense, would but be think about a rose that grew through the concrete. You can't stop it; it's gonna grow anyway because we're organic. We're gonna grow out of it. You're not ever gonna because we're we yeah we grow out of it because think about it. When you talk about social media, who's on social media? People and the feds. No, people are on social media. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna make it yeah, lame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People yeah, are on yeah. social media. It's not you're not a computer program. So to answer my man's question, yeah, we will. It will change, but it takes it takes people to disconnect from it. But that's it, yeah. it, it's could be, all right because mm -hmm. we're both we're all in agreement, you know. Right. We had to learn a periodic table. True. Mm -hmm. Well, kids can't no. even write mm -hmm. fucking cursive. You're right. They're already dumbed down in so many ways. They're smarter right. in other ways in mm -hmm. regards to technology was going to work, but it's also codependent. 
Well, we don't need it. See, the thing about what you're talking about is we don't need it. But what we need is more people to be to, to embrace being organic and be online. You don't just because you have this tool. It's a tool. It's just like saying like you're using a tool to drive your life versus you're driving your life regardless. Like if you, if, if you your life is not a video game. True. So if you go out and kill somebody, you go into prison. True. That's real life. It, no matter what those consequences are, you don't get to go to Facebook jail when you smoke a motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? Really? Life, yeah. Real yeah. life is going to yeah. kick yes. in at a point. Mm -hmm. You know, when bills are due, you can't um, crypto my my mortgage. No. You got to gotta come with it. Got that bread. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> right? Real yeah. Life always, uh, the human aspect of it always show up is what I'm saying. No, no. I, know. Man, I, I can't be. You know. But I it. think I, these devices are just really for us to think alike. So you got to realize when we came up, the biggest thing that we had was individuality. Real talk. Now you don't have it. Everybody thinks in a herd. That's so true. And, you know, I don't even know if we're supposed to say this, mm -hmm. you know, on the internet world and everything. Yeah. Spot. <laughs> that's what's going on is like, you know, everybody's getting these vaccines and then they have the, the 5G and it's right. programming. Exactly. It's programming we'll everybody to it's the make you. <laughs> yeah. it's everybody's getting the poke. <laughs> yeah, it's programming to be able to get everybody to think alike. You know, everybody sleeps with their cell phone right next to their pillow, yeah. you know, and so it's, pro yeah. it's exactly mm -hmm. what you said. It is getting everybody to think alike and then, yeah. you know, even just the verbiage that they use on social media you know mm -hmm. the influencers mm -hmm. you know you they're go. influencing yeah. your thinking mm -hmm. in the way that you're going about that's your right life. No, yeah. no, i'm agreeing mm -hmm. with it i see i want to fuck man i want to fuck i want to ask y'all a question but okay. i want to go too far out of bounds but right. you know i was thinking about that and shit like that in regards to like race okay when did the Jews become so powerful that you can't have an opinion or say nothing about them? When we talk about Hollywood, that's where they're powerful in. And when you're talking about, like, say, you want to be a part of, uh, be a hit artist or a blockbuster actor, you you shouldn't cross that line. Yeah. But I mean, regularly, who runs the world? I mean, that's, I mean, you can no, say, I even if I want to get in the hotel industry. Oh, yeah. Well, these particular people run the hotel industry. Oh, these particular people run the real estate industry. Or these particular people run tech. They don't run tech. They just So so if, if you say something about them in tech, they don't run tech. You know what I mean? It's mm -hmm. always when you are entertainer, you don't cross those lines because they do. They run the, you figure they run the unions. Mm -hmm. They run, they, they, they are part of all the big conglomerates in entertainment, so you don't cross it. It's just they like, it's like cussing Illuminati. Your, it's like cussing your boss out. <laughs> and it's like spitting your boss, boss face and uh, expecting to, you know, get paid on Friday. You're not. You're going to get escorted out by security. So when people do that in the in the realm of, you know, entertainment, entertainment it's yeah. kind of career suicide, you know. I don't really think like how they think that like they run the world. No, nah, no. Nah, I nah, think nah. they run their world. Their is what we've always yeah. known. I mean, I've been dealing with them for over 40 years. You know, before that, our parents dealt with them. So mm -hmm. it, so I, I get it. You know what I mean? There are just certain, in our business, there are certain lines you don't cross mm -hmm. or you just don't be in business with them. Like let's, open, let's open up a can of worms. Yeah. Let's, let's open up a can of okay. worms. Okay. Here's a can of worms. I mean, don't look at just the Jews. Absolutely. Yeah. There's our own people that fucked us. Absolutely. In the music industry. Yeah. In the entertainment business. True. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? Mm -hmm. There were probably just lower masons to tell you the For truth. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So at the same time, when you step into a club, it's just like, how are you going to step into a drag club mm -hmm. and expect to see straight people and complain about straight people when you know what you was going into. into. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Create this your own. This is not new. This is not new. Do See, your own thing. You're you right. know what I'm you're saying? Right. Because at real. the same time, you know, a lot of people talk about Jerry Heller. Right. And they say this and that. Well, without no Jerry Heller. Take him out of it. It wouldn't, it wouldn't have been none of this. Yeah, easy, take him easy, out of it. None of this. Yeah, take him out of it. So <laughs> the good, the Drunk. bad, the ugly mm -hmm. all still make sense to, you know what I'm saying, to yeah. rise to mm -hmm. a different level of consciousness yeah you know because it's like we can we can have a black lives march all day yep. we can talk about the jews all day we could talk about this but there's still somebody right now black on black crime mm -hmm. right now as we speak it's true yep. every three seconds 
to five seconds, there's black on black crime. And you want to, and, 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 and it's for us, when we sit up and say we want to blame the Jews or whatever, what about us? Like, it goes into what he's saying. What about us being better business people? Hmm. What about us standing on what we stand for, for hmm. our own people? Why is it always we become the gatekeepers in that? Why aren't we just trying to empower each other in entertainment? And because I'm we're the talent. I'm tired of because us. we're the talent. I'm we're the talent. I'm tired like, of in us. The, in the mind. I'm tired you know? of us as, 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 as you know, not I'm complaining. The, yeah, you're complaining. In the blame game. Me, yeah, in the you, blame you game complain too. all day. You mm -hmm. complain all day, but you're not doing no, no shit about it. You're That's not true. doing nothing yeah, about it. You're not unplugging. You, you continue. Yeah. You, you, even, you even go to the celebration. Yep. Celebrate the homie gone, Nipsey Hussle. Yep. It's a parade down the street, uh, uh, Martin Luther King Street, because that's where they placed all the ghettos with that name, Martin mm -hmm. Luther King, King. Street. Yeah, that's, yeah, any city. The place you, and in three days, it ain't a Jew motherfucker coming down in the hood killing you. It's, it's your own people. That's true. Yes. Yeah. So I think to answer your question, mm -hmm. when did they become so powerful? I think they became powerful when they became unified and they continued to be unified and then the other groups of people well you know how they well, came they became, let me answer yeah, yeah, you know I'm, how they I'm became a, rate, well, rate, powerful rate on that. when it comes to black because they call us liquid money right exactly because for some reason our insecurities and whatever happened to us the degradation through slavery and generations and generations really had an impact on us that we need to feel we need to spend more of our money than anybody than to actually save up and collect and unite with this person right. and that person because right. it's a hit in hand. Even though we try, that will always discredit the help. Yeah. And I think where, where any race, you look at any race that's economically successful, it, it, they, they, they're, they, they have an impact on the world, not just standing on the sign saying Jesus saves. No, mm. you got to be economically independent Absolutely. and successful see, as a see race. What they, and, and what they also you do and saying? how they became so powerful uh, to, to, to take from what you're saying, once they got in power, they keep themselves in power. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They perceive okay. themselves. They don't they don't say, oh, we're going to we're going to look at all these other people. And bring them into what we're doing. It's always okay. I'm grooming my sons, my nephews, my nieces, all of them to be in the powerful positions, to be the executives. Mm -hmm. So you you're talking about generation after generation of them just changing the changing the guards of their own people. Mm -hmm. That's how they now, became what, what, so what would powerful. Be, what would be the most powerful thing at this point to answer uh, your question? The most powerful thing. It's not so much in the targeting and saying it's your fault. Right. It's to really learn from them. Because Absolutely. guess what? All the while they was doing Tuskegee experiments, killing out our people in 1920 at the Black mm -hmm. Wall Street because they were analyzing you. Mm -hmm. They were analyzing you. And then they found out that, hey, these guys are really kings and queens. These guys are, 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 are very intelligent. They can mobilize and move on their own. Yep. So they try to kill that off. And when you kill off self of who you are mm -hmm. where you come from whether you was replaced with white christianity to replace your deities and mm -hmm. different other things you don't have no knowledge of who you are mm -hmm. until your mind your third eye is starting to open well these are the times which is beautiful as much war as it is on the planet as much as is 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 more more um genocide it's still hope and it's still a chance for us to be like back against the wall in the penitentiary because we only had a few good people. But when we put our back against the wall, we scrapped the whole tank and came out winning. Mm -hmm. That's the mindset that we got to have to each yep. one, teach one, reach one. But we cannot have no lip service as opposed to having doing stuff by action. Yep. So it's like all sperm cells don't get to the egg. But out of 100 million, there's one that can birth some new ideas, birth a new situation. Yep. And maybe maybe this situation, talking about this, raising our voice, is definitely a pillar to really inspire your next Obama, your next Malcolm X, or your next, you know what I'm saying, 
uh, 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 Raymond Washington that wanted to do the right thing and all those cats from the Black Panther. We are Marcus Garvey, yeah. Marcus modern Garvey, day Marcus Garvey. Marcus Garvey. Yeah. So mm -hmm. now that we get it, it's like it's time to stop playing the blame game and start being accountable for our own actions and start opening up dialogue of love and conversation. Because the problem is, is that when you don't know how to love yourself properly, you're you become a savage or an animal. Mm -hmm. It's like, like they put in a cage. Yeah, it's like no so your now, value. now instead yep. of my thing is, and that's just my opinion, I would have mm -hmm. handled it different from Kanye. I would have said, "Man, <laughs> I learned so much. I learned so much by just sitting around and having some horseradish with the Jews, mm -hmm. because that's what they did to us. They learned us first, mm -hmm. and then they knew once they created Hollywood and they knew they created this system that we can take advantage." Yeah. Uh, these descendants of slave that, that that out of this third stop had more impact from culturally from music arts, uh, just let alone the science, world without the black buying, culture, the buying power that we yeah, have. What is the world without black? You know culture? what I'm saying? Ask yourself so, how great a world. That's is my black thing culture. is when you when so. you to finish up to like when you say oh it's the, the Jews fault it's the this fault it's deeper than that y'all. I mean a lot of people don't know the first people to to, to, to enslave us. In, in the 16 something hundreds wasn't white folks because there wasn't no such thing as black or yeah, it white. Wasn't, no, it yeah. was the Portuguese Jeez. that came over there, mm -hmm. demonized us in the state, then came back to Europe and then influenced them. So the thing of, of, of white racism really does not exist. People but, don't know that. But mm -hmm. the only reason why people, but the only talking. reason but why. But knowledge is power. Let me finish this. Okay. Knowledge is power. If, 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 you, if you study, that's why knowledge and wisdom is our best friends because we get a chance to go ahead and say, I will not conform to things that suppress me for over four or five hundred something odd years. I have a mouthpiece and I'm going to speak, but I'm going to speak with intelligence. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So you, it's time for us to spend on ourselves, stop blaming other people and get off them streets marching and get into the legislation and get into other forms of stuff that really affect the communities. Because it's systemic. That makes sense. It, it's, it does. Really? It does. Because it's systemic. See, it's a system. It's a system here. And what you're talking about when we, we're talking about it is like our belief system is based upon a pie in the sky. It is instead of saying let like the Jews did, like you're saying, like they're dissecting the system. They're mm -hmm. saying black people have a value of this. These people have a value of that. This people, It seems we don't know the value of us within that system. Mm -hmm. Think about this. Koreans, you know, the Koreans come here and they do what? They spend their money to be what? To benefit from what? The system. system. Yep. They don't Amen. care about spirituality. Mm -hmm. They don't care about if you don't like them. They don't care about none of that. They trying to benefit off the system. It's a system here, y'all. Mm -hmm. That's what black people got to get out of. You have to start benefiting from the system. That's cool. This happened in 1865. That happened. In, what's happening right now? The money's rolling mm -hmm. and we missing out. Mm -hmm. We spending more than we developing. Those people come and they develop stuff. Those people come and bring. We're spending more than we develop, and because, they spend and it together. And that's why we're not benefiting from the system. Everything mm -hmm. is systematic. Well, you know. You know. Mm -hmm. They say what I want to say in a in a Jewish community. Mm -hmm. The dollar goes what thirty times before it leaves out of there. Before community. it goes out of their community. Mm -hmm. But mm. and that's not nothing wrong because if I go to Koreatown, yeah, we come from a place where we have a Koreatown. What's in Koreatown? Ain't no Jewish. What, what, Korean town. Korean. Korean. Okay. So what's their problem? They some wop, wop, bleedy, wop, wop. They, they, every time we blame them is the reason why they come in our communities and make more money than us. Because, we, because, they they are, they, because yeah. it's a system, bro. You feel me? If they understand how to benefit from the system. Why do the Spanish people do the same thing? Why do people come and put up El Supras and La Cacaracabunga, whatever they put up, right? Why yeah. do they do that? Because they understand it's a system here to benefit from. We still looking around like, man, everywhere y'all gonna look, everywhere y'all gonna look, it costs you this cup, the, the knob on your watch, the string in here, uh, uh, what's on your hat. Every, everywhere you look, it's somebody. Logo money. Man, that's money right. Was, that's off top. Everywhere you look, and we don't never benefit from that because we don't. We create a whole bunch of stuff, but what we do, we sell it off. So, oh, we mad at the Jew because we sold this off. Oh, we mad at this, but now 
we were talking about this earlier. When everything is direct to consumer, who you mad at? Oh, I want to be a part of the Academy Awards. Why? Be a part of getting this money. Look, Forget an award. Forget. I, 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 I want to be never signed tell to CBS. A slave master, I know how to read until they know I know. There you go. I know it's how a spook who sat huh. next to the door. Huh. Yeah. yeah, I you get. You think I'm stupid? Off. Yeah. See, people move on emotion mm -hmm. instead of moving on research and knowledge, and moving on the seasons according to the seasons. Nah, I want it to be summer now, but nah, man, it's raining, bro. Chill out. I don't care about being liked. You I care about saying? us being wealthy. I mean, that's the you thing know, that's wrong so, with us. We want to be liked by them, acknowledged by them, instead of going and benefiting from the system at hand. You worried about how other people feel about you when you should be worried about taking care of your family, building a legacy, having generational wealth. That's what you should be worried about. Hmm. Worried. Because if you're worried, what you going to do? You're going to really believe, believe in it, live and die for it. Well, to I fix got, it. No worries. I, I, got, another, I got another And question. I use that yeah. because that, that, that makes an urgency for you to actually be in front of a business to be in front of owning your own self, be in front of developing something that you can benefit from and your family can benefit the from. Accountability. There you go. But uh, man, I got another one. Mm -hmm. I man, not to switch reels. State of rap. Okay. Especially with our females. State of rap or hip hop? Which one? I'm right now, they, they like that, 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 what, you know, like if I did jazz and somebody came in and said. Whoops, <laughs> Blue hey, that's bad a notes. new jazz record. No, it's not, man. Mm -hmm. It's like, you know, we come from hip hop, and to me, this is just my opinion. Not all the youngsters like that because you can't, you know. There's some youngsters that's overshadowed by this popular bullshit. There's some talented youngsters out there, but because it's mostly a gossip orientated business, you can get on TikTok as opposed to going to Abbey Road to sell records. It's totally different. It became from hip hop to sissy hop. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It became hip hop to car hop, yeah. to gossip hop. Mm -hmm. And in my humble opinion, that's not, it, it, that's not classical. You know what I'm saying? That's something else. You know what I mean? And corporates love doing that because at the same time, it's the same old thing. They put life insurances on these new artists. They love for you know them to perpetuate you know, what they're perpetuating because music has an influence and it must have a balance in it. See, the era that we grew up in when we was talking about the other day, you, you can you can listen to, you know, you can watch a training day movie and then watch a Denzel Malcolm X and they were both popular. Now that balance is taken out and the state of it is just, you know, it has to replenish itself. And a lot of people are starting to wise up, not just from our generation, but the younger generation. I mean, I... My kids all day, you know what they listen to? They listen to some Anita Baker. They listen to some Above the Law. You see what I'm saying? Why do they do that? It's because it gives them the different spirit. It allows them to have a balance. At the same time, this is in the entertainment business. Ain't nobody telling you to say the Lung Foundation. What you do is what you do. But then as musicians and as pillars of the community now and elders, you know, we have a responsibility to raise our voice and say, it's not all on the youngsters, it's those that are pushing that popular bullshit that happen to be young. The disrespect, the different other things like that. When we were raised, and Hutch could tell you this, if we was outside in front of the yard and a bunch of thugs was out hanging like 12 or 13, Miss Yamini Salim would say, man, take that down the street. We say, okay, yes, Miss, you know, I mean, say, yes, Granny. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now they're shooting Granny. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Now they're shooting Granny, mm -hmm. and I show show me where popular music is. You know, people that come from the ghetto. Yeah. I'll show you where the landscape is. Being mindful that we had banging seventies, eighties, but at least we had something to articulate a balance. Like Brenda's got a baby. Like Rain Before Rainbows. Like No Pain No Gain. <clears throat> and then we can get on some gangster shit because that's our style. Right now, it's just. The reason why the hood is going crazy because there's no balance. Hmm. Yeah, and mental Ill illness is real. You know, I will I will tell you that the way I look at it, you know, it's a lot of these, you know, and to go back to the social media, you have a lot of these people, and me and my man was talking about this early, you have a lot of people who make records that can just make records with a $10 program that they can download online, mm -hmm. um, and a lot of them wouldn't even make it to Bob and Parkin and Sony. 
Mm-hmm. Now they're all online. They're building a following. And it's really demos. They're building their careers off demos, so it's no quality control. I'm sorry. Yeah, and a lot of a, a lot of these mu- a lot of this music mm-hmm. should never be heard. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm just gonna be real. Cause I'm a music guy. I can't I can't <laughs> it should never be heard. Trust me. It's true. It it's should true. never be heard. I'm mm-hmm. I'm I'm be honest. That's why our children listen to what they listen to. Mm-hmm. Because it's a lot of it, it a lot when they're when you season like they are. They know what's good and they know what's mediocre and what you've created in in music and gender. Be mad at me, but I did my I did my time, as I say. I can I can say this. A lot of it's mediocre. Hmm. You know that's why you can when you're good, you're gonna have a phenomenon like a Kendrick Lamar, hmm. a J. Cole. J. Cole. You're gonna have a phenomenon yeah. because it's a lot of bad stuff out there. Sorry, it's a lot of and like he's saying, a lot of them. If you notice. A lot of these rappers that we know, it's because they either getting caught up, they become super popular from it, or they it's some gossip shit, like he's saying. Yeah. It's not that their music is really good. It's because he's like, oh, he got shot. Um, uh, he, uh, he he got indicted. Uh, he got you know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's not really good. The music is not really in good. This and generation, I, and, and you don't have no they, quality they control. You don't have on themselves. Yeah, too, exactly. They don't have no problem telling on themselves. Like, yeah, so uh, I, Zone shit. yeah, I don't feel sorry for none of it, bro. I don't feel sorry for none of it because when I was twenty years old, nineteen years old, I did it the way I wanted to do it. So I don't knock young people for doing the music, but I know it's messed up when Big Titty Vicky is more important than a than a kid from Pomona, California, that's dope as fuck, and she got more follows, and she is a bigger celebrity than he is, and he's really a talented dude. Hmm. So that's to me where the industry is to shit. When you have reality show stars bigger than a really talented, gifted person. Now, no one's looking at this. Nobody's saying nothing. You know, when a person like DJ Academics, a dude that's not a DJ. Real talk. Not a person that's a produce no hit records can say something about people who've paved the way for him to have a platform called be a DJ hip hop motherfucker, you know? So I'm sick of it, man. I'm sick of it because I lived it, and we built a we built something that that left a legacy here, man. And I get tired of it, homie. These dudes making records that should never be heard. I'm a dope rapper. Where? Where at? What planet? You shouldn't be not on Earth because it's you can't terrible. Tell them that, though. You know, it's terrible. I mean, it's my opinion. I get. I don't want to tell them nothing. I'm just saying this is my opinion. There is no quality control no more, Coco. I'm sorry. And it makes it yeah. hard Absolutely. for the real. World, it makes right? it hard it makes for, it for, for the, the talented, talented dude. I feel sorry for the young cocaine. <laughs> yeah, I feel yeah. sorry for the young cold one of these. I feel yeah. sorry for him because he's not gonna get on because some weirdo in his mama kitchen making some goofy shit is gonna get put on. Hmm. When he that, should that, just be lifting a box at Walmart. That's the importance, too. Um, and a lot of that stuff, which, you know, if you ain't traveled or went across the world, you wouldn't know. But a lot of that stuff is just sectioned out like cattle out yeah. here. Mm-hmm. That's oh, just yeah. out in the United States. Man, Germany, London, Japan, Tanzania, Africa, Denmark, Spain. You'd be surprised, man. 80% of our record sales is from overseas. That's right. Because it's too oh, yeah. clogged up with... I won't even call it music. I just call it whatever they doing. Yeah. Crap. And I'm Crap. not talking about all the youngsters. I'm talking about what they polarize and popularize. Yeah. The bullshit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And everybody, you look, you look at the South Koreans. They adopted, basically taking our music, blowing that shit up mm-hmm. because they said to us, "Man, you motherfuckers done lost y'all mind out there. Y'all yep. don't like this good music." George Clinton can come in the room tomorrow. Mm-hmm. And we used to sample his records yep. 20, 30 years later. Yep. When George Clinton come in the room, I might have done more stuff than him. But I'm going to do like this. I'm going to be like a kid in the candy store. Hey, what's up? How you doing? I'm going to pick his because brain. Because yep. I get the tribal pecking order. Yep. Mm. Is mm-hmm. to respect your elders, yep. respect the people that help that you. paved the way. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. If you don't have, if you continue to have your elbows on the table, we come from the era. Where Granny slapped the shit out of you for mm-hmm. having your elbows on the table. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You got respect. We mm-hmm. lost that respect for you. You know what I'm saying. We lost that respect, and it was a combination of things. It made weirdos get on steroids on the internet. Mm-hmm. You don't know who's behind the computer nowadays. Yep, mm-hmm. and they try to define what's important or not. When you look at the Rolling Stones, they don't have to have a record for 30 years. They'll come out and do something and pack a whole 100,000 at Coachella. That's 
Right, yeah. But then when it comes to hip hop, we got to treat it the biggest form of music like some low ass shit on a totem pole. That's right. Yep. When it's when it's like we telling you we're not turning our back on the youngsters. Mm -mm. Man, we got youngsters. We were young. Mm -hmm. But we saying you got to be able to follow this pecking order because if you don't respect those who paved the way, you're already assaulting your whole future. And if you got kids and family, you assaulting their future, too. Everybody want to run around here and be a three pack and a four mm -hmm. pack when you just need to be you need to soak it up. Do you think um, you know what I'm saying hip hop needs to uh, unionize? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, if it yeah, was like yeah. the Teamsters. Oh yeah, yeah, for real. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my yeah. God, that was brilliant. Yeah, and I think it, and I think it does because it's an order. It's like he said it. It it helps you. It helps the artists because a lot of them don't benefit from even these guys. If they look up 15 years ago, not 15 years from now, they're probably going to be just like the people that they knock. You know what I mean? Because it don't, it doesn't have anything that protects us, like how the Screen Actors Guild. Or yeah. It doesn't. Yeah. Have, we're not protected. We're yeah. not protected from, and as as the artists that are doing it, mm -hmm. you know, we don't have that. You know, actors I mean, have we, that. We we got we actors, got, producers, we got a little still, bit something like yeah. sound exchange, yeah. but it's not on the not level enough. of like Screen it's Actors, actors Guild. Yeah. Not yeah. At all. Yeah, that's from the perspective. And that's of, about of the most the healthiest talent. thing we got to collect things. But like I said, man, me and Hutch always talk about that. People are starting to wake up. Mm -hmm. There's an enlightenment going on where people are saying they're finding out the truth about these different other companies. And I, yeah. I, I want to say this. Don't turn your back on major labels like yeah, that just that. because yeah. we're saying you're handling your business. It's yeah. ways that you can come to some fair ground yeah. and say, well, maybe I want to license out a situation mm -hmm. instead of you owning the rights yeah. of my stuff. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now there's there's different ways on how to deal with corporate people mm -hmm. because they're capitalists at the same time. Absolutely. And you are as and a businessman. And this whole business is built yeah. up on what? Capitalism. Capitalism. You are too. If you say yeah. I'm an indie company, yeah. if you say cuz what we do, we try to come from the uh indie perspective, but what me and him are exactly saying, we're trying to build something that we can do JV deals with yeah. bigger companies, which is what companies do yeah. all the time. They don't just say, oh, I ain't messing with that, but they control mm -hmm. the content. content. Yeah, exactly. that's what you want to be able to do. You yeah. want to be able to control your content first. You don't want to be, you don't want to say like, okay, I don't want to do a deal with Showtime or HBO. You know, it's like, it's, it's just like mm -hmm. how you know, um, um, uh, Mayweather and um, <coughs> Al Heyman and all them do like they control everything, yeah. but they do it with Showtime. They do it with these big conglomerates. So yeah. he's right. You can't just be like, oh, I'm going to turn down doing a joint venture with Warner Brothers. But you just got to come in there as your own entity. 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 Yeah, you cannot come in there as like, oh, please, please give me a deal. My light bill is due. You gonna get ran through the ringer. You gonna you, you gonna be at you gonna be working next to Bob and Parker in five years so, versus you know. What I'm saying? I got a, I got another question, man. Because going you know going back to the say you want to be uni, uni, uh, unified, yeah. unified, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, unionized and everything, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. Do you sue the distribution? Do you sue the? Label? It's more deeper than that. That's I think, deeper than I that think because, it goes yeah. back to like we need a union. Yeah. yeah, we need a union because because of these artists, companies, I, yeah. these companies, streaming companies, mm -hmm. they figured out which a criminal, way which is criminal. Oh, how to be they, criminal. They, they, that's criminal. They, there's there's, there's, there's going to be a big lawsuit in the next, has, 20, in, in the next twenty years. Yeah, there's going to be like it, that. That is criminal. Be because I'm gonna tell you why. Because who's getting it? I'm gonna tell who's you why. It? What was so cold about it? Who's getting it? Is that you know it go back to the people who created Hollywood? Yep. And go back to the people who created the music industry. That's right. I don't even need to say the name. Don't know. Do the research. Yep. They were already messing with you when, when, when they were already messing with your Michael Jackson. Michael of Jackson course. woke up and said, "No, nah, yeah. I'm gonna start my Michael Jackson label." Boom. Yeah. Prince before Napster and all this shit, they stole their ideas from Prince because sure in the early '90s, Prince said, "Y'all gonna laugh at me, all this," and they try to diss him and all that shit. But he was up on there telling. Yeah, he these was the people, first. Yeah, he was revolutionary. Like Prince you better get your website. Yeah. You better do this. And he was basically sat down in an interview, and I, I saw him in an interview, and yeah. it was like, mm -hmm. we're not telling, wait, I create the music, I'm the one that recorded it, and then you putting stuff, uh, 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 I wonder how old this. Mm -hmm. He was just trying to find a better means to where if I participate with this company, fair exchange ain't no robbery. Mm -hmm. They didn't agree with that. Now, mm -hmm. they figured out a way, since that came in, they purposely put out a media propaganda blitz yeah. Blitz 
to say, well, the industry lost billions of dollars. But no, this is the biggest time in the music industry when it comes to corporate that they've been making the most because they broker equity on these streaming companies. Hell yeah. That's why when you used to get on Spotify, when you used to get on this, you could actually buy. The only ones that's doing that now is Amazon. Mm -hmm. You got to get the subscription. Yeah. So who the fuck, on the pennies on the dollar, who you think is getting all that fucking money. You're talking about billions of, you think you're talking about billions of people subscribing. You're talking about billions of people ever daily day. And then you're not, and, and streaming money is already monetized because why? Ads. Ads. Yeah. It's already monetized. So for so they me, double down I'm going to tell money. you, I'm going to tell you, those streaming companies are owned and controlled by the big conglomerates. Yeah. Oh, yeah the big ding, 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 ding. You're not going to realize it until it's over with. Yeah. So keep on, so keep on keeping on, mm -hmm. and picking up your tools and fuse, and then you're gonna find out that they're behind it. It's just they don't have the whistleblower yet. Once they get in a few years, they're gonna have somebody gonna blow the whistle on everything. George he, Clinton and that yeah. attorney that represented Trayvon Martin, they they, because I was talking to Uncle, mm -hmm. and he was like, they finally gave me all my stuff back. So some things is about to change, mm -hmm. and rightfully so because so many, so many people died broke, yep. so many greats, and. You can't reinvent the wheel. We were on this before. Mm -hmm. You got to look at James Brown. James yeah. Brown said, I'm going to get the Apollo, and then I'm going to pay off the sound, man, mm -hmm. and then I'm going to pay off that, yeah. and I'm going to pay off that. And come to Brown, he was on the most artists on, on, on for weeks and weeks. Then you go back to another person. Shout out to James Brown. And where would we be without your Sam Cooks? Think, where on, would we be Sam Cooks? Sam, Sam, Sam Cook, Cook said, himself. fuck that. And yeah. see, it took, you got to think about it. Black people, young black people. There's people that died for us. Mm -hmm. When you're making all that money, they lost their life, whether it was through pissing in restrooms, whether it was through owning your shit and, mm -hmm. and music. Yeah. And, and, and the reason why you have the attitude, you don't know, because you don't even know, period. Mm -hmm. What a dumb deal. It's like Sam Cooke, they, that was a hit. Mm -hmm. You got to also look at people that was doing it. Kurtom Records, yeah. Stax Records, uh -huh. more so than Motown because at that time they were ran by something else. That's yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you got all these people, and where would we be, you know, descendants of them, me and Hutch, without recognizing these people that you talking about sacrifice? They sacrificed for us. Mm -hmm. So we'll be able to, hey, man, I'm making good money. I got my, my 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 children's trust fund together. I got bomb ass life insurances, but so many of our brothers, go ahead, go so ahead. many go of go our brothers and sisters, have lost out, and we got to you got to know. That's why it's like when we lost our respect through generations, every decade, it seemed like we're losing our respect for each other and where we came from. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's that's you know. That's not our get down. We want to more or less lead by example. We're very proud to come from a musical royalty. You know what I mean? We don't we don't run around here with a pee pee bag talking about hey I'm hey, I'm coming from this. No, we our parents told us y'all do what y'all do. Don't live in our shadow. Mm -hmm. And that invoked us to go ahead and say, boom boom. Years later, after all this stuff manifested, now we can go back to them and feel even more honorable that we were in their presence and that we were able to listen to them. And that's what we're getting back to, the respect. And and that's why a un what he's saying, like a union works, because it comes from the perspective of trust funds, medical, these things. These, that that you take care of the person who did the labor. Yeah. You don't you don't you, you, that's the thing that we don't have. We don't have it that we made all this money for all these conglomerates and the conglomerate doesn't give anything back. Yeah. Like in sports, NBA, yeah. NFL, they have it. You know, you whether you, job, you gotta, yeah, uh, you get the 401k, yeah. you know, yeah, you, you get all these things, but we don't have that. And so when you're talking about suing, you don't have to really sue nobody. You just create something that protects artists basically after they're not when they're not working or when they, you know, when they're in retirement because or when those they're, because we don't have forever. Them. Yeah. But you know, the fuck those the records and that forever. has to come from us as the players. Like we saying, if we want to say we were athletes, it has to come from us as the, as the players. You, you know, guys you give know. up a percentage of your royalties. That's what, yeah, that absolutely. Was, it has to be, it has to be dudes. It has to be all of that. They're taking the royalties. Do you right. think there's right. enough right. of you guys who would give up the percentage though for that to happen? Absolutely. Because I think, because I think it if it comes from the artist perspective, I think we understand the language we understand each other we're not I, I, because 
I, yeah. I hear mm-hmm. y'all. I mm-hmm. hear y'all. I love y'all brothers, right. man. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> But that's to answer your question, what should happen. But Can we really go ask 19-year-old Mr. Hutchison that? Yes, you can. The reason why you can, because it's something that would protect him. You have to understand, like a lot of these dudes, are, a lot of the real dudes that's heavy yeah. in it that are young, they understand business. But, but okay, but, you know, but this but is... I, to make everybody be foolish is, is wrong. You know, I was, when we were young, we were sharp. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. we were still sharp. But yeah. you know, but the average artist, even mm-hmm. with you, Mister Golden, the average artist, mm-hmm. the a- just the average artist, to tell him to try to because if if that was the same mentality and that was the same concept, this wasn't available. Like I said, motherfuckers um, wouldn't hustle. Yeah, well, you know, you know what, to an extent, but to an but at the same time, to does an extent. athlete don't? Okay, if an athlete knows he has a pension, does he not play? Does he not? Well, does he well, not play at a high level? We have to play at a high level because ego. But we're gonna play at a high level. What, Ego's gonna make us play at a high level. What 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 you know? rapper mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. really gonna be like? Oh, I'm not gonna be on 20 years from now. Huh? I said what? Ra- if if you sit back and because all right, we understand the concept. <laughs> we of think money. that though, like Just, as an artist. But but let's think. Let's 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 put these young rappers mm-hmm. because all right. You might have, man, you know what I'm saying? When we was young, when I was young, but shit, when I, and just to use me, when I was young, mm-hmm. I wanted to have every latest and greatest outfit and clothes and jeans that For came sure. out that was on the thing. Now, the old me wouldn't. Mm-hmm. So how could I explain that to me? I, I, mean, I, not do, even it, I do it like this. I do it like this. You know, everybody that's going to play college ball don't mean they're going to make it to the NBA. Mm-hmm. Out of every, uh, your natural... Uh, you take some people in the hood, right? And there's a lot of gang members in the hood, but there's only one that's going to be 13 year old building computer parts. True. So that way he has a he has an idea with his brother Black Sam, and they're going to do this. Yeah. Mm. That's one out of a hundred. True. It's unrealistic to think everybody's going to be a Navy SEAL out of a hundred, that everybody's going to make it. That's not going to happen. You understand? Mm-hmm. They they you know. Everybody's moved around like cattle. Mm -hmm. So nobody likes talking about teaching. Nobody not talking about being a scientist. Everybody seen in the hood. You a youngster, you black, do you rap? That's the thing. Play ball. Or do you play ball? Mm -hmm. When they used to tell us that, we were like, motherfucker, fuck off. Now, basically, some of that is is we ain't got no no choice but to do that. And that's the mindset. Of the youngsters, some of the youngsters, most of the youngsters, you understand? But what's really a difference when we was coming up, now you actually can really be a professional rapper. Yeah. I can go up to a high school, if so many of us do it, I can go up to high school and offer you a career in rap now. Well. Yeah. So if I offered you a career in rap and I said, hey, by the way, we have a, a, a hip hop union. You put these money, like you said, put your money in as a as an artist. Put up ten dollars a month, be part of the union. In ten years, you're gonna be worth yeah. this much. Yeah, if you yes. don't want to rap no more, ever touch the studio because it has to be you'll a have, part have of to how you. it all works. It has to be a part of how it all works. It's not it, it's not a foolish thing. You're not telling somebody like don't buy the J's and put your money in it. Is you're telling them look, pay your dues, and in ten years, when you don't want to do it no more. You gonna be worth this. Mm-hmm. So when y'all starting you know. when y'all starting up your company, the, uh, uh, when we sit down, <laughs> when we, we all sit, sit down, down collectively and, mm-hmm. and start one. Hey, yeah, <laughs> this, this, this is us thing. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. it became on this platform. It's yeah, us thing. Exactly. Oh man, Bless it's birthed man. here by the universe. So yeah. It, it, yeah. yeah. But yeah, I think that's it. what you need. I think that's what you need, and you can tell youngsters that because a lot of these dudes who make a lot of money, they're not foolish in the part of the. I don't think they're foolish in the part of the business because a lot of times youngsters know how to monetize stuff quicker than us because of technology. Yeah. So they will be with it if it's probably available. The majority of them, I know it's a bunch of fools that don't want to listen, but we're talking about cats who are around money that they're saying like, okay, I want to be that. You know, Dolph wasn't. He, he was a good businessman. He just he made a foolish decision. Some of these guys who Nipsey w- w- made a bad decision. He was back in his neighborhood trying to politic and, you know, but he's a brilliant b- young businessman. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, So yeah. some of these dudes you're going to talk to, they get it. They get what mm-hmm. we're talking about. Yeah, they get it. Yeah, they get it. Hmm. Yeah. You mm-hmm. will find a lot of these dudes are really, really sharp. It, There's a lot of these things aren't available, yeah. you know. It's hmm. just not, you don't see them all the time because it's polarized by the 
Bullshit. Absolutely by the bullshit, yeah. Mm-hmm. Man, I'm gonna hit you guys with something else, man. Why, you know, I got y'all in this mood okay. and topic, man. Okay. Reparations. I, <laughs> you know, it's funny. I like what Dr. Clark speaking <laughs> on, right? Dr. Clark, <laughs> yeah. Dr. Oh. Claude. Yes, yeah, so Claude. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. He's speaking on reparations, and uh, I'm, know, I'm a lot of stuff needs a lo- lot of stuff need to uh, change in legislation uh, because of the mental condition and dysfunction. It's not it's not the most easiest thing to say. Hey, bam! It has to be, it has to be worked out to where things those monies is shelled out into housing, shelled out into development developing communities, developing yeah. communities, yeah. having our mm-hmm. own banks, yep, saying own, fuck the yeah. J.P. Morgans and having yeah. our own, mm-hmm. Build, having equity and land, being able to play the commerce, job opportunities, and be able to to compete mm-hmm. in the commerce game. That's right, yeah, you know what I mean. So. And there are certain bullet points that has to happen, but I'm glad the road to 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 redemption and uh, um, you know reparations is starting to be talked about. Mm. It's going to take a minute because there's other fashions, there's wars, there's us giving the monies to Ukraine, there's all kind of other stuff. But we got to be able to have that uh, full metal jacket on. What? to do our research to continue to push it. And I believe in reparations, but I believe we got to shell out that money very responsible and, and careful. Yeah, and I, I think mean, I, one of those... Yeah, go ahead. One of those bullet points has to be getting people mentally and emotionally prepared to yeah. be able to handle the money responsibly. Absolutely. Well, to, well, to answer your question, yeah, like in a cold, in a nah, cold, nah, in, I can, you in, know in what cold, I said. Go ahead. What were you gonna say? I, yeah, I said that because I heard mm-hmm. you make a point. So I'm like, okay, I'm in a, in a cold sense, like okay, and this is what people always rule out when people say, oh, should we get reparations? Should we not get reparations? You know why you should get reparations? Just the bottom line: why you should mm-hmm. get reparations? Like and I, was wrong. No, no, it's not. It, it's <laughs> It's not it, that. That's a good one. Everybody got paid except for us. That's the Black Holocaust still exists. Listen, listen. He just said it, but I'm finna, I'm finna say it very, very boldly. Billions of dollars were made, and it built this country. That's like you working for a job for close to two hundred years, and then they just telling you we don't owe you anything, but they made billions of dollars off of you. So they owe you. They it's owe like you. It's back pay. It's, it's back pay. Back pay. Back it's pay. slavery. Listen, you know the slave back trade. Back pay is in the the, the slave exactly. Mm. The slave trade was a business. You didn't come here because you just to work, or you didn't because a lot of us were here already. Mm-hmm. You know, um, you weren't enslaved because they didn't like the way you looked. You was enslaved because tobacco made money, cotton made money. You understand? Yeah. Billions of dollars off of our ancestors' backs. So when people say it's money, it's, it's about money. It never was about nothing else. Was it fucked up what they did to how they treat us? Yes. But it was all about money. So when we're talking about that, yes, and you're right. It has to build communities. It has to build hospitals. It has to go into all yeah, things that can empower our people. And to me, that's giving back. Hmm. If you're building into the infrastructure, not just giving people money because because they think it was wrong to enslave us, it, it has but, to be something that empowers so- us. It, economy it gives it creates a stronger economy for those people that look like us. You know so I, mean? I have a question. Mm-hmm. So whoever's giving out the reparations, right? It'll be like the government Ever. type thing. Right? The government is. So, but I feel like when the government gives that out, it's going to be. I feel like it's, it's still going to be some type of backhanded targeting towards some type of downfall. So how do we as a people regulate, you know, and say this is c- because when they hand it out, I don't think that they're going to require any type of. No, but it goes to what he's saying. If you, you, you're not you're not people who are trying to build something, trying to develop something, trying to make something, create jobs. Create, yeah. It has to go into that. It, it can't go into man, your pocket. It has to be but, a mandate. But, but it has to be a mandate. Point. It can't just go in your pocket. Like, but that's my you know, point, though. Yeah, it can't. It can't do it. The yeah. government. I don't think that the government is going to require anything like that. I think right. that they're going to count on us to take that money and put it back in their pockets. Oh, well, absolutely. You you know what? Either way, it's not wrong. I mean, hey, either way, it's not wrong. I mean, it's a, because you got to be responsible with it. Well, look, I mean, you ask people this. to be I'll responsible that you're I'll say this. I'll you know? say this. Us, mm-hmm. that money will help a lot of people. Yeah, absolutely. But it's not going to help dumbass niggas. 
Look that's at, right. Look at yeah. the stimulus. And you look can't, the and you can't make and you can't make irresponsible like, people responsible. You know I mean? well, you that's know, not your job. It's, it's, it's a, if you put it in the responsible people's hands that want to build our community, that's what they're going to do. You difference. put it in irresponsible people's hands, that's going to happen. I, I just got a pee pee loan. No, I yeah, just look at these stupid people. Up. Look at all the stupid people <laughs> that did that. <laughs> but then you got a lot of people that benefited from the pee pee. Yeah, yeah, the PPP I, loan. I, you know, it's, you got it's, a lot of people that build businesses from the PPP loan. I think it, I think know? it should be a requirement, at least a uh, at least a fucking four month requirement of taking finances classes. That if you don't take it, that's a good mandate. 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 Listen, if you don't man, take the a class, fool, a, a, a fool, know, fake, sit, a fool, get in there, sitting there and fake and fuck all that money off. But at the same, <laughs> at, 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 at the same that don't time, don't mean nothing. <laughs> run a run a, a run a, a accountability firm. Look, I think they doing this. So but you real? I think they doing this. The finance class certificate. You have so many niggas signing off their finance class certificates. Hell yeah. <laughs> they probably yeah. gonna pay us. <laughs> But then by then, they trying to make crypto so powerful, they were like, well, we'll give you all the money in the world. Imaginary money. They'll lower the, the value of the dollar so that's quick. What, hey, that's what I was mean. They'll give imaginary money. Yeah, and you got to look at what China money. doing. About China, crash, in the next 10 or 15 years, Ooh, plant, plant because, because of the moves they making with their cryptos and all that shit, right? Yeah. They they probably knocked the dollar off. What do you how crypto off. is? When you buying the crypto, you know? what are you buying the crypto with? Money. Money. <laughs> Yeah. Look at look, I know what I'm getting hustled. <laughs> give me yeah. ten dollars to buy twenty dollars worth of crypto. Yeah. But you know you. I, I can't. can't give me twenty dollars you know. back. I know what I'm being you know hustled. What I'm saying. I you swear remember, I know what I'm being hustled. But it's the same hustle. To buy crypto, you got to use, use real money. money. <laughs> they got us with that with about maybe about ten, about ten, eleven years ago when it was man. Buy your gold. Remember yeah, every every motherfucker with yeah. every motherfucking spot, man. Had, it ain't enough gold. Buy gold. It ain't enough gold. I know buy the play. Gold. We give you money and everybody that was everywhere. Yeah, everybody was buying gold. Mm-hmm. What you got? A piece of paper. All oh, let me a, borrow against what's on this piece of paper. It's a cold ass Ponzi scheme. Bro. They make money, y'all. Money costs every two day. cents to make. Right in DC. I don't care what you put on it. I don't right care what you. You can put thousand dollars on it, motherfucker. Costs two cents to make. It's every a piece day. of fucking paper. What are you talking about? You buy crypto with money. I'm just being honest. So, would you, man? Would you guys say? Would you guys say um, precious metals? Good investment. Yep, I think mm-hmm. that any livestock is good. Oh, yeah, gold, livestock. Water, yeah, water, yeah, water li- livestock. Yeah, yeah. always well, yeah. livestock. Well, people ain't gonna who, stop eating meat. People ain't gonna stop eating. They not you know gonna who own the majority of the water rights, though. Huh? Oh. Walmart. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. They all, they all also own the, the ground. The FEMA oh, camps gotcha. too. Oh, okay, yeah. They mm-hmm. also own, own the FEMA camps too. Yo. Straight Walmart. Straight Everything Walmart owns all yo. the fucking water rights up under your face. So even when you go to buy a house, you know, remember you used to be able to dig for a well? Mm-hmm. Walmart owns the fucking Put your money Walmart. in solar. Put your money in stuff to the future. Yeah. Put your money in the yeah, solar. Put your money in stuff like that to the future. See, thing that we got to start getting into since we're a really sharp, uh, sharp group of people, we have to start getting into things that we always think outside of the box, you know. So we got to start thinking about what's next. You know, because we've always been those people. Like, we've invented so much stuff that's been taken from us, just to be honest, because we always thought outside of the box. But what we don't really really realize is the value of what we create. It's like hip-hop. It's like rhythm, blues. It's like, you know, rock and roll. We didn't realize the value of what we created. And other people come and monetize it, and we, you know, pick reap, up the tools and the fuels. And, yeah, from they reap the benefits from you it. Know what's, you know what's <clears> so that's what we got to start doing as well. A hundred years from now, mm-hmm. y'all going to be in a straight history book. I would love that. Mm-hmm. No, it's, it's real talk. <laughs> as they study men, you know what I'm saying? As they study music, as they study yeah. men, oh, you know boy, what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, boy, God. Yeah. It's already written. There you go. Yeah, you guys are already in that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, have you ever met my brother, Dewan B? Uh-huh. Bro, Dewan B, man, you know, shouts out Dewan B in Cincinnati Ashtrays. He made a okay. whole music tree and the whole breakdown of it. Oh, okay. So, you know what I'm saying? It's like. It, it that's that's how does that feel like man? Because I know y'all don't look at it because you know everybody take a shit every single day, right? right. <laughs> but at the same time, like, bless, yeah. humbling, it's, man. It's a blessing. It's humbling. You know what I mean? It's humbling uh-huh. because when all you wanted to do is make your more mark, make your voice be heard, and make an honest living. To be honest, so when you get into, you know, it's funny people be talking about legendary. It's like you know we knew a Pac before he was Pac. You know, he's a good friend of ours, and it's funny we never saw him call himself a legend. We never called each other legends, or we gonna be legends one day. We never, 
we wanted to just make a mark and be a voice. So that's that's real humbling when people say, oh, you changed my life. I was raised by your music. And I'm like, oh, that's real humbling. You yeah. know, I'm glad I could do something. It, it's Cam G, my brother Cam G, rest in peace. He used to always say, say, man, you know what's the craziest thing, man? When dudes be saying, you know, they like this song, they li like that song, that song got me through this tough time. That, he said, man, did you ever think that 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 we would be looked at like that? I said, hell no, nah, we just trying to get out of the no spot, don't we? <laughs> I mean, and we just laugh about it, but that's awesome, man. That that's amazing, man. It's very humbling, though, mm -hmm. to be able to say that you changed people's lives and you were part of some legendary thing that happened, mm -hmm. you know. So yeah, glory to God. As Coco would say, as I, I would, as I feel, you know, glory go that. Well, when yeah. you know, we just wanted to give your praise, man, over here Thank on the you. spot, man. Thank I'm you. real, because you know we've been real, recognized, real, and that's one thing how we spit. We spit gang, so we spit real, and I yeah, just, yeah. just I'm gonna keep it a hundred with you. Mm -hmm. Just with all the other content and how you brothers been talking, you've already enlightened so many people. Right on. Because right. we only see one dimension. Right. Right. And you know that's the one thing to you know if having our own platform, man. And mm -hmm. just, I, I, yeah, whatever the fuck, you could have just beat up forty niggas in the industry. <laughs> there really you go. in reality, show yeah. business, a street right. business. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I wanted to man, show them, man. Tell us what we need to do with our money. Right. Yeah. Tell us the mistakes yeah. that we made. Mm -hmm. Tell us what we need to look at. I'll okay. tell you what you need to do. Talk to us. Save it. Yeah. And own yourself. Own yourself. Flip it yourself. Own, keep turning your money. Keep growing yeah. your money. Money Spend don't less. Money don't spoil. Put it into something. Uh, money don't spoil. Just sitting on it. Don't do nothing. You got to grow it. You got to keep turning. You got to keep putting it in something. Getting something out. Putting it in something. Getting something out. And don't be afraid because life is life is a risk. Waking up, anything can happen. So you got to always keep something moving around and that's coming back to you. Don't 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 be so caught up in oh, I'm worried about this. Like you say, we don't worry. We just we we work on solutions. You know, we try to figure out how we can grow and and that's what you really have. That's the key to it. Always believe in what you're doing and and because a lot of times we dream killers. A lot of our people are dream killers because we it's fear. When fear set in, it, it allowed, we were talking about this last night at dinner, like yeah. the fear of people, you know, it'll set in when it's too, the expectations seem to be too high. But everything, everything has high expectations. Mm -hmm. You know, everything does. Everything that we're going to talk and about. And to expand on that, too. You know. Um, <clears throat> also, it's just about, you know, at the end of the day, it's about consistency. Absolutely. Like what a man, mm -hmm. a woman think is what you sold and the proofs that you yeah. labor for. If you do it by action, it'll manifest in this matrix system. But the key to anything is number one: don't get distracted. Yep. Don't get distracted at all. That's my partner right there. Oh no, that's good. That's good. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Yeah. So a lot of our brothers with the five Gs going around, and you hearing this, news is only news if it's bad news. You see in the engine, you got this over there, and you hearing this over there. Sometimes it's hard to get distracted. That's why at the end of the day, me and him always faithfully talk about meditating. Mm-hmm. Meditate. Not that I'm some yoga dude. Me, <laughs> no, no, it's just regular. No, yeah. just be quiet for a be minute. Quiet. Clear the noise out yeah. your head. Yeah. And this is what we practice every day. Every day I wake up, uh, I take at least 10 or 15 minutes. I get my mind clear, and I think about nothing but what I want to do throughout the day, all positive. Yep. And then after I do that, it's like I don't care if I had a bad dream, a bad night. I don't allow that to make me conform to something that it really was just a dream or really was just something illusion over there it's about empowering your own mind every single day you are you could be your greatest asset or your own worst enemy you know what i mean so this, this what we talk about the laws of reciprocity that's right what you're putting on universe <clears throat> is what you're gonna get, get back. back and what you're producing see a lot of people get mad because they're not producing the results they're getting but the way you feel and the way you think is producing exactly what you yes. what you want. Yes. So the key to anything is practice. If you want if you want to get buff, well you got to be in the gym. Right. Yeah. If you if you want to get your six fold fixed up, well you're gonna have to work on it. You're gonna have to put the solenoid on, you got yeah, to put yeah. the shocks on. You, you the last you finish with it, you gotta get the original shit, the Felix mm -hmm. sign it bit till it's finished. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. You know, so right. The best way on how to maintain, especially in this brutal business called the industry, because it's worse than the dope game, I'm keeping honest, is that you got to have a balance 
within yourself to be able to say, okay, this is what I set out to do. There's 90 million records on Apple. I don't <laughs> care what the fuck they doing. It's about what we think and the fruits we labor for and the creativity we put in the universe. That's why when that comes, there's favor that comes with it. You don't have to ask. It don't. It, it will chase you as opposed to you chasing it. Whether it's money, whether it's a position, we don't worry about those things. We put it in the universe. We created a good product and come from music royalty soil to where we provide a service to where it make you feel good. It makes you want to shake your ass. It make you want to get back into and remember them old times that when you was a kid or your uncles was partying and they say go in the room, play that football game you had to play when riding and this <laughs> yeah. and that. All <laughs> those things, <laughs> all those things are very important. <laughs> yeah. But at the end of the day, the only reason why you could think like that and we can sit here is because through time, through the the hula hoops of life and the business, that 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 pressure made us diamonds. Mm -hmm. And the longer you put in, you become a rare diamond. So in a humble way, it's safe to say, above the law and cocaine became that rare diamond. Mm -hmm. Now we shine different than a zirconian. Mm -hmm. And that analogy is to say, it's like, okay, I have a goal. A lot of people are racing against the clock because they don't know how to set goal. And they be like, I planted the tree. Is it growing yet? Is it growing yet? It will grow faster if you just let it grow. Don't sweat it. Just let it. Yeah, become become what you envision. And in order to do that, you got to go past the fleshly thing. You got to be able to. Everything is in your mental. Whether you get up every day, you're happy. Whether you're not happy, it's all in your head. But once you focus on those things that matter as opposed to those things will distract you, you know what I'm saying? You'll be in a better position. You'll find out things. Damn, the universe is just snapping. Like, why? Why is it just snapping? When I when 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 versus five years ago, I had a chunk of money, spent it over there, but lost it, and I ain't hardly spending no money over here. But I'm happy. I'm joyful every day. I wake up and say, God, thank you for another day. So I have opportunities in business. Thank you for for, for uh, my cousin over here who looked 30 years old. He's a 55 year old man. God, exactly. you preserved us. Most how you preserve us. And what happens with the universe? It, it answers you right back. Have y'all ever have y'all ever you know, thought about patience? Like why is people why are people impatient? We're all patient. You know why we all patient? Because you can't make the sun rise when you want it to. You can't make it go down when you want to. You gotta live that whole day. Everything is about patience. When you like not to be weird or nothing, when you in tune and you understand you've become full acceptance of what the universe offers you. And that's how the world works, how the sun comes up and you have to go, like he says, go through that whole day of what you have to do. Because that's what we all have to do. But what we do, I want to go over here. I got to do this. Ah, that's being impatient. Mm -hmm. That means instead of saying, okay, that's I got to. Yeah, impulsive. impulsive. Yeah, which is which is a form of you say, oh, I'm, in, you, I'm impatient. Like I can't, uh, you know, but you have to be patient because that's how the world works. Mm -hmm. Everything is based upon. The sun coming up, the whole day taking the course, mm -hmm. night coming, do it again. Everything is about being patient. I, I, and I, I and, and I okay. always do I this. I always say, I always say this. And to go back to what he's talking about, meditation, I always say, my silence is my music. Hmm. When I'm quiet in my most quietest place, that's when I'm the most creative. Mm -hmm. So you have to be quiet sometimes. You have to just zone everything out. Sometimes I turn everything off. It could be the middle of the day just for me to that moment. Yeah. It's a time for that. Yeah. It's a time to, you know, and sleep is important. Mm. Yeah, rest is very important. Rest is the best medicine. I tell him this all the time. Rest the best medicine. I know they get sick of me saying that. I look how I look because I go to sleep. Mm. I take naps. Not like an old dude. If I'm tired, I go to sleep. Yeah. Just like when you're hungry, eat. You know what I'm saying? That's what the universe is telling you. That's what the body is talking to. It's talking to you. <laughs> If everybody started doing that, they live longer. They live happier. Yeah. They live cool, smoother. Yeah. They could because you're rolling with the universe. Mm -hmm. You you. It, and the oh, way the way the you know, universe flow. It's the not, way the universe mm. answers us <clears throat> when you're in your most pleasant, peaceful state. Right, and that's yeah. It, it can't see when people praying. You know what I'm saying? Because any when I pray, praise God, the most creator. But everybody in here is like gods. Absolutely. You know, demigods. Demi so. 
I ask for knowledge and wisdom on how to maintain my peace, how to maintain my pleasantness. Mm. It on a subtonic level, cells react to when you're most peaceful and joyful. That's when you're able to tap into your cheese and your pineal gland to where you don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand this method. All you got to do is just let go and say, start using your tongue. The yeah. tongue is powerful than the gun. Yep. That's why I, sometimes before I start really getting into this type of, type of mode, everything that I said on my tongue don't mean my feelings matched it. Mm. That's true. But the key to anything is not what's hitting your mind or your gut, it's how you talk and do your actions. So now when I'm speaking, I already invoked the universe. So five, 10 minutes later, I might wake up bad, but my um, I command my emotions to follow my faith and how I want to be. Mm -hmm. That's why things that happen to, to, to people, good things that happen to people is generally because they're in a pleasant mood. Mm -hmm. You understand when I'm at peace, I'm able to, to get things. There's business that I can gather when I'm, when I'm not in so much in a race, if I'm met with a brick wall, I say, okay, that brick wall is for a reason because whether it's good, bad, or ugly, all those experiences teaches you the wisdom that mm -hmm. you need. Yeah. So I tell everybody out there, I don't care what you do. If you flip a burger, you're in the music industry, you got a podcast every day. You see, if you're trying to manifest something, you know what I mean? It's going to be much harder when you are just constantly overthinking about it. Absolutely. When you just say, you know what? It's happening already. And you give yourself affirmation and confirmation. You know what? Uh, uh, um, God, I want a billion dollars. People was like, why well, you pray for money? Because the motives behind that money is to help other people and families out there. That's right. Yeah. Which seek money. Yeah. So anything that I ask or that that I believe in my brain and I stay consistent with it, 85 percent, just 85 percent. It comes to me quicker. Mm -hmm. It manifests quicker. And the best thing you need is not a bunch of big money. It's not a bunch of big notoriety. You need peace of mind. Mm hmm. Because when, when the big money comes, because when the big money comes, you want that. That's yeah. what you want. Because everything want, is yeah, from, yeah. from emotional yeah. point of view. The reason why these kids are killing each other, it's not that somebody went in their house and robbed their mom and tied them up. It's over something emotional and simple. Yeah. I seen the worst war in Glen Helen. A nigga got thrown off the top tier over a snicker bar. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can get killed. Yeah, over yeah, a yeah. snicker bar mm -hmm. that nobody owns up in there. Yep. So it's when you think about it, you'd be like, that's retarded. That's the most ignorant ass shit in the world. Then you're able to 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 open up your mind and say, you know what? I don't want to be a part of that no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I want to be able to to believe, but at the same time, show action to my belief every single day and know that hey, man, we don't do McDonald's. We do a slow cooked meal because a slow cooked meal tastes better, especially when it got the rotisserie on. And I talk in parables <laughs> a lot because that's how I talk. You know what I mean? Because I, everybody's eating McDonald's, but this conversation right here is a slow cooked meal. Huh. And you know, when Granny brought that out, the very oven, nourishing. It's, it's nourishing. Very it's, nourishing. It's good yeah. for you. Please, so please, no, we so need we no, need no, to so. continue to to stay consistent in our dialogue, opening up business together, potential ideas we can go ahead and do through our think tank think tanks. But we mostly got to move by action. That's all people. All of all people need to think like that. That look like us. You know what I mean? Like it's you should be inspired by what we're saying. It's not yeah. you don't have to do no business with me. I don't. Mm -hmm. Hey, I do business with who I do business with. I mean, but most likely they look like me. Just to be honest, I don't. You know, because that's my mission statement in it as a human being. You know, I have a mission that I want to be on, and and you know because I follow like the ideals of a Marcus Garvey, the ideals of a Mansa Musa. Hmm. You know, I follow those ideals that we have to empower ourselves, but we have to be able to be sound thinkers. Hmm. We have to be able to be, deal with the brutal truth about us, hmm. things that work for us and things that work against us and try to be problem solvers. When me and him, we run into a lot of brick walls. Know what we try to do? We try to find that breach. It's a breach right there. <clears throat> we finna get in there. 
You know what I'm saying? And then we finna chip away. I used to react totally you know different. Saying? I used to yeah. act emotional like, you know? nigga, what? Let's get these niggas. Let's smash. I'm like, yeah. I always <laughs> realize that, that there's something nigga. on the other side of a mountain. But now, you know? now I'm just like, oh, they said that? Yeah. Oh, he said that? Man, you yeah. know what? God bless you. Yeah. What's up? Go on, man. And you, you have know, to learn how life, to bro. use it. You have to learn how to use it you know to your saying? advantage. You know, and that that's the thing that we just practice all the time. Like, and we've grown as as individuals, as human beings, and because we weren't this sound when we were younger. Mm -mm. You know, because no. we don't come from that. We come from being on a block, being in the streets, being, and you know, even though you know, because growing up in the era we grew up in, when you're a certain age, you had to start finding your way. Yeah. You know what I mean? You know, yes, we, yes. You, know you have to start finding your way. It's not like now All where right. we're able to do that with our children. Well, we're able to do that and keep that from our children and put them in better positions. But um, I was telling Miss Kendra this and, and we were at breakfast. I was like, I'm glad I was able to do that for my children. That they didn't have to see the type of I, the, 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 the things that I saw. Yeah. You know what I mean? That I was able to be in a position to say, hey. I'm gonna give you this opportunity to do this. Change the I'm environment. Gonna give you this opportunity. Yeah, exactly. Change you know, so that's what we have to do as people. We, the people that are here now, like he's saying, we need to be striving for billions. Gotcha. Because we can help people. We can, we can, we can put things in in the perspective for as the school system, business, job opportunities. We can do that. work programs. But yeah, we can. Do we used all to that. have pre lunch programs and work programs. Okay. I was Karen's champion. Yeah, they ain't got that no more. Yeah, yeah no. we can do that in in in, in, in um, nutrition, fitness. We can do that now if if we're empowered. So yeah, I mean that's all we're trying to do now. We're, we're just trying to. But I mean, you know, I mean, you know, I love his music and entertainment. We gonna always continue to do that. But we're also gonna put things out there when we when we do really hit that level. That's why I love to create different types of businesses, like I was telling you. Yeah, yeah. like because of that, because I want to create job opportunities. You yeah. know. Man, I see the job, man. If y'all don't see this and y'all don't see what's going on, <laughs> it's a lot of fruitful game, man. Before we go, because man, we got a video to shoot, man. And yeah. I know your folks pulling up. Yeah, 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 yeah for sure. We got one segment. Here too. Oh, man, mind, for dude. sure. Nah, nah, it's love, man. I swear. We got a segment what we call, man, your big home. Okay. And what it is, man, you feel me? It's something, man, you know, telling, man, you know, some man yeah, that your big homie did that, you know, this generation would be probably just laughing and be like, fucking weird. So it's like saying, okay, yeah, man, your big homie used to wear, your, your big homie used to fight his sister for the rollers and shit up <laughs> under the shut man in shower cap and shit huh. to go to school with. Wow. And it's mm. like, so it's like, man, we got our own segment. Okay, I got, I big, got a big homie story, big hum, big little homie story. Okay. Uh, what do you call a man that's on Clubhouse talking naked on the bed? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'ma stall you out. I don't have no big home story. I'ma leave that alone. I ain't gonna be a part of this. Nah, thing. um, <laughs> certain um, as as far as the big homie is concerned, yeah, you know I mean, we became big homies. A lot of our big homies ain't here. Yeah, yeah. that's true for sure. Yeah. You know, they gone transcended. <clears throat> so we we the big homies, and uh, yeah, we 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 t yeah we take our you know. Our elderism, if that's a word, very serious. Yeah. You know what I mean? You just made it a word. It's cool. Elderism. Yeah, yeah, that's the new word and like stuff that. like that. Word. There it is. I, it was, yeah. Hey. You got man, them big homies, man, used to wear biker shorts and shit like that, man. Oh, oh that's what you're talking yeah, about. Yeah, I'm a, uh -uh. Oh, yeah. The big homies used to wear had on karate shoes, too. <laughs> <laughs> I had on karate shoes, too. I ain't uh, Nigga, made, I ain't have on the parachute pants, though. Yeah, uh, big homies used to wear parachute pants. I, had I know parachute. a couple of homies used to wear parachute pants. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Don't stop it. Yeah, you're right. Mm -hmm. Hey, a big homie used to go get the Gumby cut on the wrong side. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Oh, big homie used to wear finger waves. <laughs> what about the shag? Big Woo. homie used to have a shag. The Lord Jesus. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Cam G had a cold shag. Cam G had a cold jack, shag, boy. Man. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah. Man, That's Covitis, right. the Covitis All cut. That. Yeah. I used to hate them motherfuckers, man. The bow cut. Hey, the bow cut. Yeah, the bow cut. Man, you feel me? Yeah, we just more like... Man, you ever get a man? You ever get a bowl cut? Go to school, man. Oh, oh my that god, that was the worst. Who fuck you all? I, I had I had a greasy. I, I messed up many pillows, fam. Oh, the greasy I had Jerry a greasy curl. Greasy Jerry curl. No. Oh yeah. Worlds of curls. Man, come on, man. My shit. Man, men who wear S curls. It's telling your age now. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, That's why. Curl, you telling your age? Man, <laughs> man, I used to. 
blowout. Hawaiian yeah, blowout. Blowout. The blowouts. We had the blowouts. Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I used to watch the classy curl uh, commercials after the Jordan and um, and um, Soul Train. Oh yeah. Mm-hmm. Soul Train, man. Come yeah. on, man. That Where's was a, that train? was a hell of an experience too. I had Where's a Soul Train? Soul Train, best, man. Yeah. That Soul was the best go? experience. Everybody, man. Yeah. Saturday. Oh yeah. And the Kung Fu Theater. Kung Fu Theater, that man. That's a. Yeah, them days, man. Them days is gone, man. Ever get a giant robot, Ghost Speed Racer. Yeah, Never Sigma come the back. Sea Monster. Never Lecture come company. back. Yep, you're right. Man, you know them days is gone, yeah. man. Planet of Lost. Michael Jackson Cartoon. Mm-hmm. To Jackson Fat Fall Albert. Fat Albert. Jackson, man. Jackson Rickety Fall Rock. Back. Yep. Uh, Richie Rich. Never no. come Jabber back. Jabber Joel. Because there wasn't no niggas in the Jets, and mm-hmm. we had to watch the Rickety Rocket. You're right. You said Hanna Barbera's, huh? Hanna Barbarian. <laughs> what you know about that? Um... <laughs> Who, who played that? Cartoons, Thunder or the Barbarian? Yeah, Conan. Space Ghost. Yeah, Space Ghost. Space Ghost. What no black cartoons, huh? Yeah, yeah, Rickety Rocket. Yeah, just Rickety Rocket, but what else? Uh, Bad Out. Yeah, Bad that's true. You're saying it right. Yeah. Electric Company, that's when Morgan Freeman first You're started, right, man. you're right. That's crazy, though. You might as well say. Have y'all, um, tripped, have y'all ever tripped off this when you look at old TV, how you don't see us in it? What do you look mean? Look Happy Days. That ain't one black person in Happy Days. I don't watch that. Three is no, it, it ain't one black you know person. The in it. But if you watched? go back and look at it, fuck you up because it's we're not in it. None of it. Nah, it, you know it, what? It, that's dope. All in the family, though. That's when Je- Jefferson yeah, got introduced. All in the family. Mm-hmm. But you know, a lot of those shows, like the only shows, you know, a lot of them shows even growing up. Because and I say that because it's like it was two extremes. It's either a black show or a white show. They never integrated. And it's cool about all in the family because they integrated that in. George you know, Jefferson. I, I, yeah. But I, I'll tell you a good show that was man that was a white show that all black folks love. What's that? Married with Children. Of course. Oh, yeah. That's the shit. Ow. Man, yeah. I used to like. I used to like Cheers. Cheers was, okay. Cheers was funny. It was all right. Cheers was yeah. all right. Um, but it wasn't a black person in there, was it? Nah. I can't remember nah. black person But my Cheers. all-time comedy, mm-hmm. black or white, will always be Sanford and Son. Oh, man. Oh, yeah. Well, that's black. You big yeah, dummy. Oh, oh, you big black. dummy. Yeah. <laughs> that, you fish eye fool. I like that's different funny. strokes, though. I ain't gonna oh, lie. yeah. Different, different strokes, strokes was cool. Good. That was integrated. That yeah. was, man, that was, man, yeah, it was fucked up, man, you know what I'm saying, Todd, man, you know, Arnold. Yeah, that's crazy, yeah. That, I was man. with Arnold, he was, um, last time I seen him, we did the East Siders, I love it. He oh, yeah. Uh-huh. He, he, yeah. Video. he was talking yeah. shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I seen his up. life story, his life story is crazy. Yes, yeah, yeah. sad. His life story is crazy, I seen his life story, yeah. That's sad. Uh-huh. Man. Yeah. You know, man, it's, it's, it's one of them things. Gary man. Coleman, his life story is Gary sad. Gary Coleman, yeah, that's all the real ones. It is sad. Blessings to that brother, man. You know Bowser. what I'm saying? Rest in peace. For real, man. Yeah. Shit, man. You know hey. Man, we got it. Man, shit, we got it going, man. We over here, man, talking this shit over here on the spot, man. You know, we we went from politics to reparations, man, all the way around, man. Hey, you know what I'm saying? Breathing his soul, energy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Mind. Mind, man. Speaking into existence and shit. And you feel me? I'm ready to smoke some good weed. Hey, yeah, it's about that time, man, to get up. Yeah. Man. You know what I'm saying? Go What's ahead, up, man. Y'all? Let everybody know where they can find you, baby. Uh, you can reach me on Instagram at K-O-K-A-N-E underscore O-G underscore. That's at cocaine underscore O-G underscore. All the information is on there. We have a new project out again. It's A-O-G-F. We have returned. You can go get that at buddyboymusic.com. You spell it B-U-D, E is an Eric, B-O-Y, music.com. Super simple. And go pick up our new single called The Boogeyman, The Halloween Jam. It's available on all digital platforms. Super simple. Yeah, you can reach me on Twitter at the Real Code 187 um You can reach me on Instagram at Massa Musa Royal, on uh, Facebook at Massa Musa, and that's everywhere you can find me. And, you know, I'm here. Top man, you know what I'm saying? You can find me in your baby mama's room. No, I'm just man. man, I want to thank man, Mr. Cole 187, man. I want to thank Cocaine, you know what I'm saying? These brothers for the culture, you know what I'm saying? Hitting us, man, you know what I'm saying? With the manpower, the alpha male power that we need, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 And the soul and the guidance, man, you know what I mean? Of just having the blessing, man, of just sitting around, you know, amongst men. Cause you know, in, in reality, and in, in my opinion, that's what we need, man. It's a long time. We need, we know, we miss, you know, we shit. Come on, man. We don't get a chance. We just don't get a chance to do that. So you know, I want to thank you, man. Hopefully, man. You know, if y'all out there watching, you can find, go find these brothers. Many brothers got more to talk about than just rap. You know what I'm saying? They got some real good game for you, man. You know what I'm saying? So if you ain't 
up on the game on them. Go do your homework. Don't look like a dumbass. You know what I'm saying? And then, man, approach these brothers with intelligent questions, man. It's going to make them think. That's going to make them engage you. And you never know, man. Y'all could be sitting back on a billion-dollar idea because these brothers is real engaged and ready to make it, man, for real. So we over here on the spot at the spot, man. You feel me? Blessings to everybody. <laughs>